Alu. Let's do this. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I am not late. I am one minute early. Well, actually, I'm a half hour early, although that was an hour late. <laughs> I was going to start at two, but then uh, I had to walk the dog, walk the pony. And uh, so I rescheduled for three, but then I got done earlier than I thought. So rescheduled for 2.30 and started at 2.29. So there. <laughs> Anyway, I'm here. That's the important part. And I tried to schedule Tuesdays early so that them Europeans can actually watch a little bit, even though it's already late for you guys, I'm sure. But uh, at least it's not after midnight yet. Um, but yeah, um, and the days got switched around a little bit too. We said that uh, I'm, I'm being a full-on variety streamer at this point because I got too much on my plate to play. and I don't want to hurry any of them, so... Uh, we said that uh, Baldur's Gate would be Tuesday, but Arali had to reschedule because he's got a D&D &D game on Tuesday, so he can't change. So, excuse me, Baldur's Gate is going to be Saturdays. So since I did two days of Cyberpunk, I thought, okay, let's do some Starfield. And then Thursday, we'll do some more Cyberpunk. And then Saturdays will be Baldur's Gate day. And we'll make it all work as we go along, but trying to play three games a week as much as we can. Not according to YouTube... 23.32 now. Well, YouTube and my computer are a couple minutes different. <laughs> anyway, I'm here, ready for work. Thank you for joining, Lai, and everybody else who's coming through. I very much appreciate y'all. So yeah, let's play some Starfield this time. Let's start from my last save, indeed. And I've been dying to play this too. I have all kinds of ideas for spaceships and for outposts and just generally playing the game too. So let's do all of that. So I did log on the uh, last couple nights because uh, I wanted to do a thing. Here we got uh, Estrella Campa. So she is Starfield in Spanish. <laughs> And she is really overloaded. She is so cucumbered. It's incredible. Um, because what I did is I it felt like I have not been gaining nearly enough levels. Um, the We played like a whole stream last time, and I didn't even gain a level, even though we ran over and did all kinds of things. And I've got this outpost here on the moon of Androphon, where we've got iron and aluminum. And so I'm gonna put caps lock on so we just walk real slow. And I have been making tons and tons of adaptive frames. What's happening? Debris field? No, I am overweight, so I, I get out of breath instantly if I do anything but slow walk. Uh, so we've been making these adaptive frames. I've got, uh, whoop going on here uh if i hang out for a little bit i get uh, 999 iron 999 aluminum and then we just go in here um you can see actually before we do this you can see if i go in here not there but uh there yeah there i am now level 30 almost level 31 when we last logged out i was level 19 and I've got 11 skill points to spend. And I just did that by printing XP, basically. This is a known thing here. You could call it an exploit, but it's in the game. So I don't think it's really an exploit. But you can craft a whole bunch of stuff, right? And adaptive frames is what I have the materials for right now. Although they are not nearly the most high-valued thing. Uh, the best thing I could do right now would be tile grade rheostats. But I need copper for that that is an interesting helmet that's my do-rag um so we need to find a place that has copper because we've got beryllium here but right now i'm just doing these low-grade adaptive frames and i put my mouse right here something for personal use or and personal. we can craft 99 at a time andresia always has something to say about it and you can see my xp is going up we just got a level and you can see that little white line inside the XP there showing my progress towards the next level. 
Yeah, so if you put your mouse right here, you can just craft 99 at a time till you're out. Jay! Slap that like button like a thief trying to swipe your breakfast chunks. <laughs> you have the best messages for that. Hi, Jay. We're doing this really exciting thing of crafting adaptive frames. So that got us halfway, got us to the next level and halfway to the one after that. Um, so now we are level, what's our level? 31, look at that. And we're two thirds of the way to level 32. Um, to do more, I need to sleep a little bit and let the ship visit here a couple times. Maybe we should get to level 32 before we go. Uh, now we have 12 skill points to spend and our weight though is really out of control we are at 24,000 out of 140 <laughs> so we're a little oh, just a teeny bit above our capacity hi you can always hatch a lot of eggs and kill them off oh wait wrong game right this is kind of like that so that's bringing my iron in from the other outpost on the planet and uh, we'll sleep for 24 local hours, which ends up being 134 universal hours because uh, it's like six universal hours here for every local hour. So that will fill my alu aluminum. And then uh, we will uh, just have to wait for two of those little uh, shuttles to come in with 500 iron at a time. And maybe we'll make it to level um level 32 <laughs> anyway we'll stop here but i just wanted to get a little boost on the skill points because i just i wasn't keeping up with the amount i could actually apply even now we won't be that's just a nap for you i dig it come on there are worlds to conquer there are worlds to conquer <laughs> so that got my aluminum up that delivery of uh from that little shuttle got us to 600 iron so we just do this again super excited uh and this is print and xp basically now the level cap is is there is no level cap in starfield so this gets us closer to infinity, basically. And that didn't quite get us to the next level. I think uh, one more load of iron and we'll get there. But what I wanted to do with this is just get us ready to go a little further. Now we have a ton of stuff that we could level up already. Uh, fitness, not quite yet, but being this overloaded helps a lot <laughs> getting our challenge done for this we're almost ready for that i do want to put a point into weightlifting as well although it'll take a while to get to anything significant uh we're ready for another level in persuasion i'd love to have another level in commerce um and uh also stealth would be good too where's stealth uh I think it, maybe is it back here? Here's stealth. Stealth gives you a stealth meter, so you know if you're in stealth or not. I'm ready for another level in ballistics, lasers, pistols. Um, and I'm ready for another level in security and starship design. Uh, but I also wanted to get up in the outpost stuff because I wanted to see what we can do with outposts. And until we unlock all of outpost engineering we can't even see all the stuff we can do right so um i thought well we'll at least maybe use the outpost to level itself up right uh to get up to outpost engineering so i want to put most of these points i got into science and then we'll go out and quest and try to get more levels for all that other stuff i just talked about so we can put a level in surveying and now we have a challenge before we can level this up again, right? So we have to do, um, we have to scan 25 unique things in order to uh, get that up. And that's the whole adventure in itself. 
But to go up, um, and this really increased the range of our scanner, so it's going to be easier to do it. But I thought we could just put a point each into one of these. So medicine will make uh, trauma pa med packs 10% better, faster and better. We could do research methods um, to make research cheaper, but I'm not so worried about that. And astrodynamics increases our grav jump uh, range. So let's, let's put a level into medicine and a level into astrodynamics. And now we should be able to lock some things here so we can unlock uh, spacesuit design, which means we can make mods for our spacesuit. We can unlock weapon engineering, which means we can make mods for our weapons. And then if we unlock botany, uh, we can make uh, little, little greenhouses that can raise some plants in our outposts. And if we unlock zoology, we can uh, do animal husbandry on our things. So, and these can get ranked up more, but that at least allows us to make the basic buildings to do that. And now that gets us up to outpost engineering. So we can then construct improved outpost modules and research additional modules at the research lab. There we go. Now this one, we have to do the challenge. We have to build five different outpost modules. So we, sh we should probably be able to do that pretty easy. What knee? What's that? <laughs> yeah. So, and then we got four points left. We're going to need one, two, three here. Um, and we can probably have some leftovers for something else. The greatest botanist on Mars. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that from uh, the movie? Now, you can only make those on planets that already have those animals or those plants. So we'll have to make another outpost to do that, right? So we can't quite do it yet. Uh, so we got to wait for another iron delivery. And we need some more aluminum. Now, the other thing about sleeping when you do this is that it... Uh, if I can press the right buttons. Hey. Uh, let me see. Where is it? There was a place where it showed... Um, status. Right here. So, status effects. When you're well rested, you get 10% more XP. So, we get 10% more from our little stuff. Captain Redbreed. Yes, the Martian. The movie and the book. What's up, Sanchez? How you doing, man? What's going on? Uh, so let's uh, let's get the aluminum up again. We probably only sleep 12 hours. Probably one of the most true to book films you have seen. Yeah, I, I watched it. It was pretty good. It was sad, but it was good. He was a survivor for sure. Yeah. Niall says it was a great book. He listens to tons of audiobooks. To if you hibernate. He chews through them. All right, so when one more shuttle comes down, I think uh, we'll be able to get to the next level. But let's build five outpost modules. The helmet makes you look like an alien ant? I'm not even wearing a helmet right now. Oh, you mean the the helmet? Can you see it in my inventory? Uh, not there. There, yeah, that one. That is the Mantis. They're kind of like the Batman of Starfield. And uh, there was a mission where you can get their stuff because they died and hadn't left a successor. And so it's supposed to look like a praying Mantis. I don't really like this outfit, but the stats are so good, I can't not wear it. There's a mod that... You can change the colors, or at least we can make it like black and purple. Uh, <laughs> so we might do that. Speaking of mods, I'm thinking of adding a mod finally, or already, whichever it is, called um, Star UI. That makes the UI much, much better. You want to go outside, Minibot? That's fine. I let the Minibot outside recently, and it actually makes its way back inside. 
It was pure chance you saw the movie and you were in love. You read the book and it's in my top faves now. Pure comfort movie for you. There's my helmet. All right, so we just got to build five modules, right? So we can just build five random ones and then delete them. Sir Garwin. What's up, man? Welcome in. So yeah, I have to walk real slow, but after we go on and sell all this stuff and it should uh, hopefully get us some money. This stuff doesn't sell for the most. Uh, so let's go into outpost mode. How about, uh, will a, does couch count? I have the patience for construction. <laughs> Destruction is much easier and often more fun. She got stuff to say. Let's see if that counted as one. Uh, we want to do this one. No, that didn't count. All right, so you can't just build furniture. How do you assign an outpost uh, companion to stay in the outpost? Um, you do need a structure. It's in there. It's uh, actually, let's, uh, I can show it to you here. It is, where is it? Crew station. You gotta build one of those. And for every one of those, you can assign two people. And then once you build that, you go into, uh, actually, I think it's your ship menu. Uh, here, and you gotta go down to crew. And then it shows you all your people and you can assign them. Your current outpost, you can assign people here. I've got three, two people on a bot. <laughs> Heller, Lynn, and the sanitation mini bot. Who apparently makes things get harvested faster or something like that. I've only got the one outpost. Glad the bot comes back inside. Didn't want it tr out there trying to uh, vacuum the whole planet. Well, there's a certain symbolism in that, too. <laughs> and Garvin just gave a single V instead of a double V. Static. Just build different halves. Get credit, delete. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. What's up, Static? How are you? Boop. So let's just build some halves. Where's my halves? I guess they're just structures here, so we'll build one of those. Build one of these. Boop. It's the last one to get built. I'll confirm. Okay. And then we'll build one of these. And we'll build one of these. It's intersecting. I don't care. We'll put you over here then. The snapping is aggressive on these, man. Oh, I just didn't confirm properly. Okay. And one more. Hey! Excellent. Nice. So get into modify mode then. And then we'll go ahead and delete. 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 Can you build a giant greenhouse? You can build a... Uh, I can build a greenhouse now. It's not giant. But that was one of the things I just uh, was allowed myself to do by getting the point in botany is I can build an actual greenhouse now. I can build these little hydroponic halves that we've been in, these guys, and put fake plants in them. But uh, they're not really greenhouses. Okay, so now we can do another level in Outpost Engineering. Rank 2 available. And now we've got to build 25 Outpost Modules. <laughs> they look like Styrofoam Burger Containers. Hey, don't you diss my Styrofoam Burger Containers. Why? Alright, uh, let's, let's do it again then. Oh, and uh, while we're doing it, this is supposed to be... Uh, adding new things here. So what's new? Uh, like, can I build better storage now? Probably more furniture. 
my storage. That looks the same. Hmm. Maybe on this next level? I'm not sure. All right, uh, well, let's go back to uh, structures again. Make 25 of these. <laughs> All right, go into this mode. Uh, let's see, let's go over here and uh, don't snap. And we'll raise it way up. A well-built outpost can mean the difference between Poop, and then there's a variant which is Q and T. Poop that one on. Poop that one on. Do the variant. Poop that one on. Sure, you can go there. Poop. Military hab. And. Oh, that doesn't have a variant. Okay. And... Boop. Nice. Hydroponic round. Have round. I like it. Hex lab. Hex you. And do the variant. Ooh, that's big. Oh, we don't have the resources for it. Sealant. Okay, can we make a hallway? I don't know if that counts. We've made a watchtower. Alright, what else counts? Uh, maybe... Do storage boxes count? No, those wouldn't count. How about... Um, miscellaneous? Yeah. Boost my scanner. How about a cargo link? How about an inter-system cargo link? Uh, landing pad small. Maximum has been reached. Maximum has been reached. These probably don't count. We'll put them down anyway. Hey, that counted. <laughs> We're at 19. We need... Uh, what's that? I can't do math. Six more. Uh, here, let's delete these first before we move on. I wonder if we can repeat. Come on, let me get it. There we go. Round ones are neat. Don't run your men blowing yourself up to make water. You always run out of resources. Yeah. I got a lot here, too. But we should be able to delete them and then reuse, right? Get one of these. Uh, let's run around in these first real quick before we delete them all. Just to look at them. Although, I'm pretty heavy to run around. I can run around, but it's going to look ugly like that. It won't kill me, though. There's also a mod to make airlocks go faster. Glitch! Daryl! What's up? Alright, let's put Caplex back on. I'll be slow. So this was like... Okay, we don't like this one. That was boring. It's been 84 years. Oh, this one's a uh, double-decker. Check that out. Still boring. Hi, pony. What's up, buddy? We know about this one. That's the mini... 
the mini uh, hydroponic one. This is probably the bigger hydroponic one. And then we got, what do we got? I wonder if we can delete it while we're in it. Probably not. I just, I'm gonna have a hard time building anything but the hydroponic ones, I think. Why would you be on a planet and not have windows? Okay. By the way, I don't know if you knew, but you can change the speed of your camera while in outpost fly mode and the rotation speed of items. Wish this game was multiplayer. I do too, Daryl. How do you do that, Glitch? I don't think I knew that. The speed of rotation of items would be really good. Big round one. Some setting controls, outpost stuff. I think I did turn rotation to its slowest there. I like this one. Big round hydroponic one. This one looks like canvas, which would be kind of problematic in a place like this. Okay. Although I think there are windows, aren't there? That you can add. Um, do, 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 do. Those are the structures. Would they be in decoration? I've seen people add windows to these. Not in decorations. Unless I missed it. Maybe it's in the next level that we're trying to get to. Yeah, I don't I don't see windows. Hmm. Modify mode? change oh look at that oh you're the best yeah you can you can change it to windows that makes these a lot better okay much better oh yeah all the windows. You know about me and windows. That makes these more reasonable. I might actually use them now. But these are just the best. <laughs> Absolutely no privacy, but who cares? All right, let's get out of here. And finish this. By the way, what are we at now? We're at still at 19 out of 25. Alright, we gotta figure out five more things. I wonder if we can delete these and repeat. And sorry I gotta be so slow. I'm just incredibly overweight. We're gonna go sell these as soon as we're done. Well, it might take a few uh a few weights to sell it all. Honestly, if someone comes all the way out here to perv on you, don't they kind of deserve it? I, I, I'll go with that. <laughs> I'll be like, you like what you see? Okay. Let's go in here and delete, delete, delete. 
complete. Fuel generator and a powered switch and an industrial wall light. <laughs> I don't know if any of those counted. Why is my health so low? Because I'm carrying like 120,000 kilos, and if I try to run at all, I immediately run out of oxygen. Can't hear me? I... Sound should still be working. Can everybody else hear me? Oh, the ship's too loud. Oh, <laughs> what did I say? I don't know, I don't remember. We can turn the ship down a little bit. <laughs> All right, what are we at now? 23 out of 25, we need two more. Excellent, okay. Let's find two more things to build. It could have been important, whatever it was. Uh, let's see. Maximum reached. Does that count? Hey, there we go. All right. The audio's good? Excellent. All right, now... We can add another point to this. And it needs 50 modules, so we'll leave it there for now. Um, I can always print some more XP later. Uh, we'll get those modules when we build the next outpost. Um, although this one would be great to have because they'll cost 50% less resources once we get to here. But uh, we'll need to build all 50 first anyway before we do that, so. Whatever. Um, I guess when we build our next outpost, we should build it, delete it, and then rebuild it. Because then we'll get full refund, but then uh, when we re rebuild it, it'll be for half the cost. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm I'm super heavy. Uh, I'm at... Where's that? I'm at 24,000 out of 140. Um, because I've been printing stuff, so... I get immediately exhausted and lose health if I do anything but slow walk, which is why I'm walking so, so, so slowly right now. I went outside, so Pony is coming to me for comfort. Hi, Pony. I just took him for a big, long walk. He should be fine. Yeah. Um, but we'll, it, it gets your health really low, but it doesn't kill you. All right, let's go get one more level and then finish applying the rest of those skill points. And then let's go have some adventures. But I just wanted to show you guys this part of crafting to get XP and some money. Hi, pony. Slowly, slowly. But yeah, I'm thinking about putting star UI to help the inventory be less cumbersome. I so I expanded the storage over there. That's aluminum, that's iron. Some people will take it even further than that and just make giant walls of those so that they can really uh, abuse this little system for XP. But I didn't take it that, that far. This is enough. And you can optimize this a lot more, too. 
But I thought I'd at least put those levels into outpost and science stuff so the outpost can kind of level itself. All right, so we got a full amount of these again. Let's do it. So this is why I'm overloaded. something for me as well? Oh yeah, these are all for you. And then we got a bunch of stuff to do with quests and stuff. So yeah, that was another level right there. Every time I do this, I'm putting 99 of these into my inventory. All right, there we go. And we got uh, more iron than aluminum. Oh, hello, Andresia. So let's uh, let's get a little bit more aluminum, and we'll do it once more. And then we'll quit. I promise I'll stop. <laughs> I promise. But yeah, the, the levels come so much more slowly than the my ability to complete the challenges for the skills. So we need a little boost. Especially because I'm two and a half weeks behind in this, man. The seller's face when you show up with all those, right? If I was smart, I would have put four levels into commerce and we'd get 25% more when we sell them. About time you woke. We Level 32. All right, here we go again. Okay, we're halfway to the, even the next level, uh, but let's leave it at that. And then we got some extra points now. We got three points. So let's put one into security. So we, then we can do master level locks. We should be able to do all the kinds of locks now. Sweet. And I'm tempted to put it into Starship design, because we have that, but I wouldn't be able to, uh, I don't think I'd be able to drive to pilot the ships I'd make until I'd get my piloting up, because <laughs> I think this would allow me to do uh, level C um, parts, and my piloting is only B, so I don't think that would help us right now. Maybe it would. Because uh, I need to get them piling up, and to do that, we need to kill 24, 25 more ships. Um, I can do boost pack. That would be pretty good. So maybe boost pack. Um, I can also put a level in the ballistics and do more damage. And I can put a level into persuasion. Oh... Uh, Probably ballistics and persuasion, right? Oh, my ballistics are pretty good. Maybe persuasion. 30% chance? Sure. We need to do a lot of that. And, oh. And maybe start a new one, actually. Start weightlifting. Because <laughs> we'll be leveling that up pretty quick at our current current rate. Let's actually start that one. This only gives me 10 more kilograms. But eventually it'll get to 100. And so... To get this, we just have to sprint for 1,000 meters while at 75% or more. Which we're going to do so easily. Right? But uh, let's not do it now because it'll be ugly. And then let's go sell some stuff. Goodbye, little outpost.
some walk up there. Oh, yeah, let's just boost. Sleeping got my health back up. Woo. All right. Don't know my own boost strength. I've been watching this YouTube channel that where he puts all the different modules on his ships. You know, the little, uh, the habs, the infirmaries and the workshops and the control stations and the living quarters and compares them all by brand. Oh, there's more iron. We could go back and get some more levels. Good day, Captain. Good day, Vasco. I can't fast travel to the planet because I'm overloaded, so we actually have to walk onto the ship. Ooh, something's in here. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Yeah, yeah. Literal. You know about me. You know me. My propensities. Like, this is the all-in-one hab. It's not bad. But there might be... there. I think there's definitely some better ones. But we have our nice cockpit here that gives us four crew stations. Uh, this is the Razorback. Which is the one we got from the Mantis' lair. The problem with this ship is that everybody runs away from it. So we're going to have to design a new ship for our space pirating which is really fun to do um, because this one doesn't work they just they run away from it <laughs> lift off looks good all systems so let's go to neon we could go to either the neon or the key they both oh, have a lot of vendors it. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff out here. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Um, what is it? Tab. I'm going to have to get the my muscle memory back for all the keys again. Voli. Let's go here. And over here. Now this puts me right inside the shopping district. All right, so we can go to all the stores. Why don't we start with the trade authority? And then we got a lot of quests we can do. Actually, I should put up a a poll. Uh, which do you guys want to see me do? I mean, let me do the poll real quick. So, which quest? Which quest line? Which quest line? So we can do... Uh, free star rangers. We can do crimson pirates. We can do... How many options can I put? Only four. Crap. Um, what else do we have? We have uh, the UC Vanguard. Um, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to put the... What you call it? Uh, Constellation? Is that what they're called? The actual adventures after artifacts. We're going to do all these other side ones. Or reusion. So we'll start that poll. Didn't I just do weightlifting? You should spin everywhere to get the challenge done. Yeah, except right now, in my current situation, it's just so extreme. Right? It's just gonna look like that. Super ugly. Whereas if I'm less encumbered, it will uh, not be quite so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> this effect is just so awful. 
I don't even have to be over encumbered. I can be 75% encumbered. Keep your nose clean. And still get uh, points for it. Right? And also, I don't have another point to put in it right now. Until I get to the next one. That didn't give me any progress. Why not? Ah, Neon. Instant sensory overload. Look at you. Beautiful. You need more to get to where you are. Here is Neon. She'll so give me a promotion. No way. Maybe I'm just too overloaded and I'm just not sprinting properly? Okay, I got 14. <laughs> anyway, we'll get that just by playing. Because you know I sprint all the time. Oh, it knocks me out of sprint mode. That's it. Yeah, I'm just too heavy. Too heavy. Need something? Yeah. If it's too hot to handle, you got the money or the goods. Okay, so we're going to be pressing Q, going to resources and selling... The adaptive frames. So he's got 11,000. Boop, boop, boop. Can I get close to it? I wish there was a button to make it just the exact amount. I'll just do that. Okay. And uh, we got to keep going. <laughs> keep selling. Uh, let's maybe go to the mining league. I understand them needing loading screens for the different planets and stuff, but do you really gotta have a loading screen for every store? Yeah, to purchase some mining goods. I'm excited to see how business. Certainly, my friend. Free stars in the lead. All right, he's only got 5,000. That's enough. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend. All right, Lai. I'll see you later. What else we got? Uh, we got... Um, Sea Arts. For over a hundred years, there have been we here in Henry. Hello, come on in, please. Absolutely. Here's everything I currently have in stock. Good night, Lai. All right. He's got five, seven, six, five. Okay. I wonder if we could sell some to the doctor. You need adaptive frames. Everybody needs adaptive frames. What can Reliant Medical do for you? Please state the nature of your med. Not much, I'm afraid. But at least the prices are reasonable. She's only got 3,000. Oh, I could only sell aid to him. Okay. Makes sense. Stay away from Aurora before you get hooked. I actually bought some blend so I could carry it from planet to planet. I have to remind myself what button I put it on. Um, what else? Mining League. 
Trade authority. Newells. Say hello to my wife. Of course. I have a huge inventory to choose from. He's got 5780. All right. We went from almost no credits. We're up to 35,000 now. I still got 9,000 of these. <laughs> I'm only 11,000 something overweight now. Thanks for stopping by our shop. I'm doing the same thing you're doing right now. Selling all the stuffs. There's a mod to give vendors more money, which would be great. If you want to see how short my temper is, keep talking. You're not from Insec, are you? Well, what a coincidence. I have some for sale. What does he buy? He only buys eight, too. Sure you don't want some extra blend for the road? There's more vendors around. Here, we could go down to the other end. But uh, let's just rest. And... Or wait... And how much local time would that be? Or UT time, 35 hours. And then they'll all renew. And we won't have to run all over the place. A lot of people just jettison this stuff, but that seems like a waste to me. Especially when we need money so bad. I want to design a ship from scratch as my fighter ship because everybody <laughs> runs from the Razorback. Unless we can steal one. We got to go do some pirating. It's hard to do in the Razorback. Everybody's like, it's the Mantis. She'll kill us. Let's go. All right. So back, do the rounds again. We have everything. You straighter bay you came by while you were out. Can we sell to her too? Welcome to Newells. Let me know if you need help with anything. Mm, Thank no. you for stopping by. Or maybe after I have all those conversation options with her. You like making a purchase today? Sure. Do you always turn your back to your customers? Mm, Five thousand bucks. Can you do it with this key? Oh yeah, that's a little bit better with the arrow keys. Boop. Left him with two bucks. Watch your back out there. I was watching your back. Alright. Back to the trade authority. We need to yeah, what? Now we're getting somewhere. And so how much do these only sell for three? <laughs> <laughs> it takes 24 to buy them, but you can only sell them for three. But I have so many of them that we're still making money. Okay. We're getting down there. I'm only 5,000 overweight now. All right. What's off? I'm busy. You jerk. I should probably be buying some uh, chasm bass oil too to make my aurora, but 
We're just gonna save up for shipbuilding right now. Where'd he go? Why are you back here? What's up? Don't forget, we sell all. Nothing would make me happier. So he sells resources, which is why we can sell resources to him. But apparently, we do more than that. He's got five thousand. Boop boop boop. All right, getting down there. We're up to fifty-six thousand credits now. It was good of you to stop by, my friend. There's a mission we did for him that we have to follow through on. As well, but I'm on a mission right now. All right, let's let's rest again. Oh, don't forget to pick up ammo. That's that's a good point. Boop. So, Glitch, I take it you're playing Starfield. Anybody, anybody else been playing it lately? Oh, it's all for the Free Star Rangers. Okay, I guess that's what we'll be doing. It wants us to go to Hope Tech next. Should be cool to go there anyway. I'll leave it up until I'm done with this. So get your votes in. Oh yeah, says Glitch. I have these little jelly candies I'm eating. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to check in with my son. It's a wonder. I appreciate your kindness. Take as long as you like. Okay. Uh, resources? No. My resources. Getting rid of these adaptive frames. Oh, he didn't. He didn't renew. Thank you again. Why not? For me out with the flyers. Uh, waiting. It. Try it for half of the half the amount. And hopefully he'll reset now. Yeah, for the amount of money you need in this game, the vendors have remarkably little. You good now? You can go to the bank and replenish. Setting up a buffet table. Nice, Sir Garwin. Thank you for handing out. Hello, my friend. I have all sorts of interesting things for you to buy. Okay, now he's reset. You're getting down there now. Uh, 5,000. Okay. I'm still... <laughs> We're only an order of magnitude higher than Come what we can soon, carry at friend. this point. It's always a treat to see you. If we go to the Trade Authority, we should be good now. Good for you. I don't know. Nobody 
anything you're doing? Stop! Now! My goodness. If it's too hot to handle, then here I thought you were just wasting my time. Okay, good. He's renewed. And we can sell them all. Nice. And we're done. We have 64,000 credits. And although, you know, a lot of people get up into the millions. And good ships cost hundreds of thousands. So we're in no way rich from that. But we're up from nothing. Having beef enchilada with sour cream. Hamburger helper style. Nice. Bon appetit. Uh, what do we need? We need um, ammo. It doesn't look like he has ammo. Oh, this is no. This is this. There we go. Buy ammo. Um, I have to actually remind myself when I'm using. It's been a minute. Security, you're under arrest. What did I do? Why? I'm not giving you money. What did I do, guys? Did I pick something up accidentally? Pay 27 cre credits. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. What you got? Uh. Newton's cradle removed. I don't even know what I did. How long ago is this? Yeah, let's go back to this. I don't mind getting busted if I actually stole something. Oh god. My son left again and now the dog is tripping. Alright, let's try not to get in trouble this time. Nobody's yelling at me. Yeah, what? Did you guys see what I did? This better not be a waste of my time. <laughs> yes, let's. Uh, all right, buddy. Okay, we're done with that. Now I need to look at uh, what ammo I need. Anything else? Make sure you bring it to me. I must have accidentally clicked on something. Oh, I clicked on this. <laughs> While I was trying to... I stole his Newton's Cradle. Real sour cream. Nothing but, man. Absolutely. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Uh, we're... Looking at our weapons, what we're using. I've never even considered trying to fake sour cream. So we need the 40M XPL. And the 43MI. Whatever that is. Do you guys know what mag shot is? We got plenty of this. 40M XPL and 43. 0.43. Wow, the cops are just on it, man. You grab this and they're on on your case. You need to move some merch. This is Always happy to take your money. A dollop of daisy, do ya? Hey, Warlord. 
Asdre, you picked up that Newton cradle on the counter that's in front of him. You've done that. <laughs> yeah, we just figured that out. That's crazy. So there's the 0.43 Ultra Mag. And he doesn't have the other one either. Should I only find what I need at the key? Is Daisy the fake stuff? Okay, I guess we're good. All right. Um. Done here. Time to move on. Okay, so now we're good. Unloaded. We do need to get our health back up, so we should sleep as soon as possible. And let's look at our quest. So you guys voted. For the Freestar Rangers. So let's go do that. In the poll. And that one is uh, where hope is built. So my first assignment as a Freestar Ranger is to learn why the first mercenary company is threatening farmers. To do that, I'll need to find them. My best lead is the ship the mercs on Montara Luna were using. The one that they wouldn't let me take. Uh, which was stolen from the Hope Tech factory on Polvo. So let's go to Hope Tech on Polvo. Uh, we got to go to Polvo's orbit. And yeah, let's show it on the map. Polvo. Let's go. Set course. Let's go. That's not real sour cream. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that is real sour cream. Ranger, if anyone is hearing this, systems failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. Is this free star collect to space? Hold while we scan your ship. Is this who needs help? Yeah, that's it. You're clear to land at Hope Town. This is Polvo Station. Here. Uh, is there no boarding? Who needed help? Board Nia Kalo's ship. Okay. Nia Kalu. Where's she? She's up here. Aha. Nia Kalu ship. Not run into it. Where is the, there? It is Doc. You build a Class C battle cruiser, retired as a pirate in an outpost with over a hundred billion. Beat the game once, dang dude. Yeah, I haven't been able to play for two and a half weeks while I was in Arizona. So I'm just getting back in the, in the uh, swing of things here. We got to talk to Barrett and... Um, what's her face? Sarah soon, too? They're on our list of things to do. Where's my docking? I think it's below. Let's go see. There we go. That sounds awesome, Willard. You were on vacation last week? It sounds like I know what you did. <laughs> Oh, 
Where are you at, Nia? Wants us to go up there. Not through there. Excuse me. Oh yeah, my health. We never dealt with my health. Let me. Is there a bed I can sleep in here? I can take one of those. What's happening? Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. I think about it. Space scoundrel. Steal this piece of junk to repair but I'll eat at my profits. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll just pretend I didn't hear that, deputy. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the Playing New World, wow. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. What do you need me to do? Repair my ship. Please. Okay, I'll see if I can get you flying again. Just patch her up enough to get to Hope Town. The rest can get fixed up there. I'm on it. How about some credits for my trouble? Thanks. I owe you one. Not the most exciting work I can think of. All right, so to repair it, can we get in the cockpit? We can. No, we're not authorized. So what do we need to do? It's got some little spots for it wants us to go. Generally, you sit in the cockpit and press O. I guess it's got some specific things for us. This one's got a brig. Oh yeah, yes, it's got some stuff. All right, we fix that. Something above, something below. Yeah, I put about 500 hours into New World. I kind of regret it. <laughs> but I haven't checked it out for a while. We need to get one more level up. Alright, stop being all flippity gibbet. There we go. Easy enough. Oh! Ooh, ow. <laughs> need a moment to walk that off? I should probably just use the ladders properly. Thanks. That should get me home. Uh, those outlaw ships still need to get dealt with. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Just tell me where they're headed and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. 500 hours, you probably did five. <laughs> I did some of those big grinds to level things up, man. I did kind of all the solo content I could find because uh, the, the group kind of lost interest. And so it was really hard for me to do some of the group content of the, uh, you know, the dungeons and stuff were all designed for groups. Apparently... They've changed it, made it more solo friendly since. But yeah, everybody kind of lost interest. I like the vibe of it, and I liked playing Dollhouse with my little houses in town and stuff. But um, yeah, eventually I went on to other things. Oh yeah, down in my computer core. Uh -huh. We'll have a convo soon, Sarah. I promise. 
We gotta go blow up some bad ships. When New World first came out, you enjoyed it a lot. It just got really grindy. Yeah. It did get really grindy. And apparently they have uh, rebalanced that too. Which is good, but then when you did all the grind to get things... Undocking complete. Uh, you feel like you wasted your time. Doo -doo. I chopped so many trees. Ouch. Alright. How do you play this game? <laughs> There's one. And... Lock on. Another one. Heard a few boosts. You lose those missiles. And then we got one more. Can I steal it? Alright, wanna take out the shield. Actually we just wanna take out the engines, right? Can I board it? Apparently not. Let's blow it up. Okay, now we can go to Hope Town. Let's get the goodies first. Did I play Lost Ark? I played that one for like five minutes. <laughs> I thought they really phoned it in. I mean, they didn't have like voice actors for the, some of the first scenes. Yeah, I thought it was really bad. No offense if you liked it. But yeah, I checked it out and it was like, nope. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to go to Hope Town. station. Alright, well apparently I can't board it yet. We want to go here. Hi, pony. And drool all over my keyboard. Yeah, too much drool, buddy. He just drank a bunch of water. He's got those big jowls. Let's just collect drool. Ew. Wipe your mouth. Okay. Let's go check out what we gotta do.
Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. And this is also where one of the companies is. Got anything you need to offload? Anything wonder, I can help you with? Can you do it okay, here? No problem. Or do you have to go inside to like corporate offices? Let's see. What do they got? You guys got anything fancy? Also, leveling up apparently would open up a bunch more stuff for me. Well, you know what? If I had put some points in Starship Design, there's Class A stuff that would actually open up to me. I should have put a point there. Let's see. Hey. Uh, oh, and there's like... There's B stuff that's in rank four. But yeah, I should do rank three. Okay. Now I know that it's not one to one with that stuff. Hope tick risers. Thrusters. Nose. Ports, pipes. Oh, these are like little connectors. Oops. Not you, but you. Mid. Okay. What about, do they have a unique cockpit? Oh yeah, these are the ones that go on top, the overseers. Cool. Okay. Tells everyone you met me, Ron Hope. I mean, Ron Hope. Well, I don't want to hear any complaints. Excuse me. Excuse me. A little desperate here. This is such a, a fair amount of business runs through Hope Town, and from what I understand, most of it is legal. This can't be happening. All right, Adela. Deep breath. She's not my mission. <sighs> but obviously oh something's going on with her. Uh, you don't look like things are going well. <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Uh, what's wrong? Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock. And minerals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? Something go wrong? That never happens to me. Are you serious? <laughs> well, I, uh... <clears throat> Get to the point, lady. Bad for me. So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment? Slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Okay. Tell me how I figure into this. I'm getting to that part. Sorry. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Uh, why would I do that? Listen, I just haul, well, garbage. But you, I mean, you're armed and look, well, awesome. I figure you could do a solid for the little guy, uh... Girl. Okay. Plus credits. I did mention the credits, right? Nope. All right. 
I guess I'm Captain Fahim then. You are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. There's it's so much. many missions in this game. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. All right. I guess uh, we're going to knock this out real quick. <laughs> uh, we were supposed to talk to Nia Kahlo. What was this one called now? I should have I should have noticed the name. Oh gosh. I pressed L to mark it active and you think it would take me straight to it. But no. Beer run, super fan. Aha. All right, let's knock that out real quick, I guess. Where do we gotta go? Over here? Hi, right, buddy. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your. So where are we going? In here? He's got his hand on his head on my hand on the keyboard. If I mess up, it's his fault. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. Uh, no trouble at all, actually. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. They were pretty the low level just too. Came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Okay. I'd like to look around first, finish this other quest. But let's ask this. No, and I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. Sure, I'll be right here when you want to head up. <laughs> he just went brrrp. Up. All right, it pointed me back outside, so we'd be dust except for the factory. <clears throat> so, do I get to ice this bounty hunter? The pit stop. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Captain Fahim, pleasure to meet you. I'll take that drink now. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markup? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. A bounty? Why me? Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies. Meant for orphans. Or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside on scene. I figure they're in the markup. Uh, you got me. I'm very surprised. Yeah. They never see me come. Well, that's not what I meant. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. As to persuade. Although I wouldn't mind shooting them, but if he's trying to save orphan supplies, then he's not all bad either. Uh, Della doesn't deserve a bounty on her. The whole thing doesn't add up. Maybe. Maybe not. So we did just level up persuasion a little bit. Should we just go straight for four? That would handle it. 
Everyone's after this shit, man. Whoever hired you is lying. And all I have to back that up are words. All right, that didn't work out. All right, so we got to get four in two turns now. I misread the number of turns before. Uh... I'm only trying to do the right thing, trust me. I, I don't know. Maybe. What charity needs tons of slag steel? Slag steel, huh? Oh, well, I guess that don't make any sense. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you are shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. I would have liked the opportunity to shoot him, but... Uh, thanks for the advice, but I got it covered. Or should we say we jettisoned it? <laughs> There's no way they're ever going to settle for that. Ah, sucks to be you. One more drink and it's lift off. And get good and drunk before you fly your spaceship. All right. So we handle that peacefully with our excellent persuasion skills. Why do I feel sick? Uh, anything you left out? I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. Uh, I convinced the tracker to let you go. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. You think she's full of it? Uh, you're lucky the tracker was a good guy. They will you send more. Think? I mean, of course they will. Oh, God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. Do I get some credits? Uh... No? <laughs> Hello? I have to go. Like, now. Where's the part about the credits? Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes on the Mark Hub. It's just too dangerous. I mean, maybe. Hmm. I feel like there's something there that we should have learned, but uh, I guess I missed it. All right. Hi. Off-worlders. Nothing ever good, huh? Yeah, there's something else interesting happening there. How's it going? You ready to head upstairs? Let's meet with Ron Hope. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Just keep it holstered. I have never liked yeah. holding ships. Though I suppose that is hardly the point of them. I should have put my ranger outfit on for this. If you sneak and you go, you go at the same speed as them. This is pretty weird. He comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you. Or you could just wait for him. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him. To imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. Respect, okay. Got it. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're. Well, she gets really quiet when I get too far away. As for 
parts. Maybe we'll try out some stuff. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. And um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn. Good to see you here. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. All right, so we got to talk to him. Let's just get on over here. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Yeah, I found your stolen ship on Montara Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the oh Council my, of Governors. strong arming me. I'm aware of your position. Then I trust did you know what I expect of you? Get loud. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Uh, it's both of these, right? I do. A group of mercenaries hired a thief to steal your ship. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's... No lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass up. Well, I'm not sure I can... He seems fishy. Help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. The thief had inside help. Know anything about that? What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Why didn't anyone report the theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Was there anything unique about the stolen ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. And did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened. And not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not 
inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. All right, I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. If more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. Tell Someone him. might have seen the thief and could identify them. I considered that, but Tell him, Andresia. in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. I've chosen to place my faith in the Free Star Rangers instead. All right. Uh, I make no promises about discretion. I want to say this. Uh, I'll just say the middle one. I understand your position. I hope so. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope. There's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Hey, Doc, we got a problem with one of the ships on the line. Oh? Well, what is it? We ran out of tungsten midway. Let me that it. wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Just randomly. I was hoping to learn more. Yeah, me too. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Jalen Price, got it. Uh, let's do our street rat dialogue. I've spent time on Neon. I know how different it can be. Good. That should help you avoid any unnecessary complications. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes and ears open. I'm not sure we got the whole story here. Yeah. The question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in Neon. Okay. Got some XP. Got a little bit of credits. Woo! <laughs> Hello, Andresia. Alright, let's go. Hello, Bum Ruler. Yeah, I did a little poll what people wanted me to do. And they chose the ranger one. I've got five faction lines going on. Pole could only handle four. Workers like to play hard here. They deserve it. And yeah, folks voted for the free star, which is good with me. Seems like a good one to finish first. And we also printed a bunch of XP at our outpost. Local and got some levels working on uh, leveling up our science science skills. How you doing? Ron Hope's a damn hero. Yeah, just getting back to the game, man, after the two and a half weeks of being gone. So many things I wanted to do. Captain, do you require my assistance? Yeah, get in and help man the ship. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. All right, let's uh, how the saying goes? finish do the conversations with Sarah Got and my attention, Captain. Barrett, what do you need to do? I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just... 
almost too much to process. Pretty good. You just got home, really. You seem pretty shaken up about the whole yes, thing. Yes, I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. So... I had this theory, I mean, okay, they could have been aliens, the ones who left all the artifacts, or I thought it could have been someone who had kind of chased through this whole uh, thing the same as us, and had acquired a bunch of power that way, but they weren't actually aliens, they were humans who had um, basically leveled up the same way we had by investigating the alien technology. I did a little poll on the channel. And people thought it was the latter. Um, but we'll see. Uh, do you think they'd be willing to teach us? The way they behaved, I'd say that's not very likely. If no, we they tried to, to kill us. Anything from the Starborn, we're going to have to take the initiative ourselves. Starborn also sounds like something a human would call themselves. Uh... You sound afraid. I wouldn't say I was afraid. More like approaching the situation with caution. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they. Oh have yeah, I've got the a power. I keep forgetting but I have. What's their true <laughs> have <motivation? to> use. <laughs> What are they telling us? Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. The possibility that they have a hidden agenda is disturbing. It's very disturbing. Especially with all of that cutting-edge technology at their disposal. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. How far am I into the Constellation quest line? Only that far, really where we found that temple where I got my first power and the Starborn uh, accosted us. I didn't get much further than that yet. Yeah. Clearly some type of alien life form. They didn't sound like an alien life form to me. I don't think they're angels. So this is my only other one. I need a fourth. I think they're humans that visited the temples first. <laughs> but yeah. No, not time travelers. I don't think the science is there to support that theory. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old. Perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. If you had to guess, why do you think they call themselves Starborn? Mm, I'm not really sure. Scientifically speaking, we're all born from the stars. Most of the chemical components of our body, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, are exactly the same as those manufactured by internal stellar reactions. Now, ask someone like Matteo the same question, and he'd probably give a more theological answer. But hey, it's all a guessing game anyway. Well, we should definitely make every effort to learn about them. That's safe enough. Exactly. We she must liked that. use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection. We also have a whole quest line with Andresia that we're not following right now, too, where she needs our, our help to check on her friends she abandoned. Okay, then you'll keep your speculation to yourself since you have more info than you on it? Yeah, okay. We'll get there. It'll take a while, though. <laughs> Especially since I'm only playing this once or twice a week. Um, I'll be there to help you every step of the way. Thank you. I really appreciate your support right now. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, 
I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence, <clears throat> eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. We could flirt. <laughs> I have a few things I'd love to whisper in your ear right now. <laughs> no, we're we're gonna stay true to Andresha. Even though she's kind of a dork. Sarah's a dork too though. Uh we'll get you there, I promise. I knew I could count. I don't think it's really a spoiler to say well, that there's then, always gonna be room to speculate. Enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. Hmm, thank you. All right, and let's get our conversation with Barrett done, too. What's on your mind? I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? To discuss. I want to talk about it, too. Or what do you think about it? It was awesome. <laughs> right? How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. This is advancing or, constellation a little bit. Talking to these guys, prank or any believe. number of mundane explanations. Maybe it's Andreja's family. Oh, interesting. Is it the Varun? They kind of disappeared. It's fair. We don't know much about her, but they call themselves Starborn. Doesn't sound that House Varuni to me. But it did sound a little mean, you know. She's unusual by our standards, but our standards only matter to us. Uh, I bet it's a super advanced ship from one of the factions. That's a smart hypothesis. Makes sense, but we have no observations to really back that up. Yet. Although now that you mention it, I do remember a drunk conversation with a Marine. He swore up and down he was part of an elite crew on some top secret ship out there. But this is all anecdotal. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be happy to do it every next time. We know they wanted the artifact. That has to be significant. It's one of our few facts about them. It seemed very important to them, too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction or some sort of elite military tech or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. To flirt with him too. Mm, seem like fancy thieves, and that's all. Yeah, that's how they appear right now. Maybe we can use that to our advantage, though. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Okay. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Again? Hey, so I'm really enjoying our time together. Thought you should know. It's been a long time since I worked with someone so closely. I didn't realize how much I missed it. Is he hitting and on me? You haven't stopped me from looking into this stuff with Irvin either. So, thank you. If it matters to you, it matters to me. See, that's what makes you a good captain in my book. You're supportive. On that note, I do have some news about Irvin's case. So, I wanted to let you know that I heard back from my contact, and I think you'll want to hear this. They sent me a copy of some public records. It's interesting. There was a claim filed against Irvin, accusing him of damaging their investments. You're going to romance like Barrett now? <laughs> they just all can't resist my charms, you know? They're all in love with me.
Uh, I actually kind of missed what he said before. What was the settlement? Some of Irvin's paychecks were seized, as well as any assets that weren't under joint ownership. Who brought the case to court? The Hephaestus Mining Corporation. And they also won the case. I don't understand how Irvin could be guilty of that. Well, if it was Irvin, I do want to understand that. Because I just can't believe it. Anyway, this mining corporation, Hephaestus, sued Irvin, claiming he irreparably damaged their mine. They said he killed the apex predators in the area around the mine, which led to herd creatures overeating the grasses. That caused the soils to release too many gases too fast, which cost Hephaestus a ton of money. Uh, that seems a little far-fetched. Seems hard to prove. Yeah, it looks like they considered him a no-show and ruled against him. So anyway, according to the court documents, there was a witness for the defense. Who was a no-show too? Then Hephaestus won by default. They tried to take his apartment, but because it's in my name too, they couldn't. Hey, free apartment. <laughs> Why didn't the witness show up? They withdrew their testimony the morning of the trial. Said they had a sincere change of heart. Is your contact still available for work? Yes. They plan to stay in the same system for a while. Uh, did you know about the apartment before this? I didn't know he bought it. Must have been a better deal than renting for the time he was there. I don't like either of these, but they're making me go through them all. Hey, free apartment. Kinda. <laughs> you like that? I had a mountain of back taxes to pay, and utilities, and repairs. Yeah. It would have been far better for my pockets had I just donated it to the city. But I'm glad I didn't. There may be clues there about his case. So here's what I was thinking. I can persuade my contact to keep digging a little bit more. I don't want to press our luck, so I'll just ask them to follow up on one thing. Should I tell them to investigate the company more or look into the witness instead? Oh, we gotta pay, huh? All right. Pay your smuggler contact to investigate both. For that much money? <laughs> They'll do it. You know, this investigation is time-consuming, but it's also pretty cathartic. And who knows? Maybe if we solve this case, it'll mean a better future for Gagarin. But that's thinking too far ahead. What's anyway, Gagarin? Captain, thanks for checking in with me. You're welcome. Now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Again? So, how are we doing on this? These were all in activities. I speak with Sam, Juliana, Hamza. I don't know who a lot of these folks are. I know who Sam is. Rifka. I gotta talk with Sarah Morgan again. Layla, Renee, Yumi. Hey, Hex. It's good to be back. I had to go cold turkey on gaming for two and a half weeks. It was difficult. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Sarah again. I guess yeah, I had a backlog of talking to them. Thanks for taking time to chat. I, I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation and it's given me a lot to think about. <laughs> this would be funny, but he's here with us. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. Oh. 
It's not so much the message itself, it's what it represents. Exactly. But let me back up a bit so I can explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Uh, what was the Navigator Corps? It was a branch of the United Colonies Navy, a small fleet of ships outfitted for galactic exploration. Basically, a military version of Constellation. It must have been painful considering that was your department. Yeah, I suppose painful is an appropriate way to put it. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Uh, you were clearly fighting some impossible odds. <laughs> yeah? You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. She sounds mad at me. Ah, because of my lack of foresight, all I ended up with was a shattered division and a bunch of excuses. Nonsense. No one would have pushed harder than you. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Hmm. So this message you're taking as a sign of things to come. Yes, maybe. Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative. You're back at the lodge my filling optimism. out forms. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. Well, you're afraid your absence will cause Constellation to collapse. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Don't worry. We'll figure this out together. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You are. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Oh, I gave a damn. Of course you do. I'm just not thinking straight right now. Phew. This has taken a lot out of me, so maybe we should just leave things right here. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Let's try to get all the talk out of you guys. And since we talked to them and didn't flirt with them, let's balance it up. Talk a little with Andrea. Oh, it's good to speak with a friend. Uh, we have some stuff we're supposed to do with her. Can I ask you some questions about her journey to find your friends? Of course. What would you like to know? Which we need to do soon. Oh, what can you tell me about Aaron Bascom? He is a quiet man. Reserved. I, I believe he had lived through a great many hardships, though he never spoke of them. I never felt it proper to ask. He valued his personal space and quiet moments. It was one thing we always shared in common. Years ago, I had heard he was alive, but did not attempt to contact him. I did not feel it was right. I hope this is not a mistake. How do you know anyone else is still alive? I do not know. Not for sure. I did not see them fall that day, and... I suppose I have hoped they survived. 
I admit, I have not investigated before now, at least in part because of... what I feared I might learn. Why did House Varun rely on smugglers? House Varun is in a distant corner of space, far away from the rest of the settled systems. While this serves our interests, it can also pose challenges. Many critical resources are scarce, and diplomatic relations with the United Colonies and Freestar Collective were tense at the best of times. It was the most practical way to acquire what we need, without raising too many questions. Still is. Then we should return to our task. Okay. That's it, what we got we with her. We will speak again. Yes, we will. All right, uh, let's move on. Uh, before we do... Uh, where is my captain's thing in here? Hello, captain. Where is my inventory, actually? <laughs> oh, here's the cargo hold. Barrett's blocking it. And then where's the captain's chest? There we go. Okay, so they're not in there. Uh, do we have... I want to see where my ranger uniform is. Here it is. Alright, so let's take that. Do I have a ranger hat? Deputy hat. There we go. Alright, if we're gonna do ranger missions, we should look the part. Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? I never seem to take my spacesuit off in here, but uh, we can at least. So let's uh, equip that and equip that. All right, now we'll look like a deputy. And actually, can I? Where is my... Is it miscellaneous? I have my ranger badge. Where would that be? I thought it was miscellaneous. Or a deputy badge, at least. Is it under Freestar Rangers? No, it's not under Deputy. Hope I didn't lose it somewhere. Well, it still counts, wherever it is. <laughs> I wonder if there was a way to equip it. Probably not. Deputy uniform, deputy hat. I don't see it. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> Let's go on. All right, so on with the Freestar Ranger quest. So we want uh, shadows and neon. We're gonna go to neon. Let's go ahead and set course. And we're gonna go to neon core. Let's just go straight there. For the sake of time, we gotta get a bunch of stuff done. We've only been going two hours today. We're gonna go a lot longer. Ah, uh, Neon. The house that Aurora has built. Indeed. There's a Freestar Rangers... Oh, yeah, outpost here. Oh. 
this is. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? You must be Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. This is BS. <laughs> the people of Neon did not want to uphold the law. Well, hopefully I can count on your help. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. That's clear. Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. You should take his words to heart. Okay. Who runs this place? That would be Benjamin Bayou. We already knew that. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. And he doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's also got a seat on the Council of Governors, which proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. I don't really believe in this. Uh, this is a lie. It probably will cause trouble. So, you just turn a blind eye? I pick my battles, and I pick them carefully. Our first duty is to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. But sometimes you have to choose which people to protect, because not everyone is innocent. All right. Um, I guess we only have this one left. Good. Consider whether your obligation to she the dislike that outweighs whatever may <laughs> usually pass for justice in Neon. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. Uh, it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, Nothing in neon is free. All right, we got to redo Later. that. She is the weirdest lady. Like, she's the smuggler outlaw of sense, but yet when you do anything that isn't strict law and order, she hates it. And we want to stay on her good side. I should just leave her behind, honestly, when we do this stuff. Ah. Hopefully it doesn't put me too far back. It should have did the save when we arrived in Neon. Right now it seems to have frozen. Come on. Here we go. What? No. No. Time is it? It's 4.44. Why did it put me all the way back to the beginning? That scared me. We need to do a real save. That was the beginning of the stream. <laughs> okay. We're back here. Sorry I keep eating my candies. <laughs> Alright, let's do a save. And we'll do that better. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? That's all it takes to bruise your ego. You're not going to last very long in this line of work. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here.
but this city is real good. All right, we'll speed it up here. Um, hopefully I can count on your help. You can count on my help if you play by the rule. This isn't the Kila city. The bad, the people who run this place, our job is to keep the last thing anyone around here. You should take his words to heart. So, she just contradicted herself there. So he's telling me to, you know, not, you know, not bust too many heads to kind of look the other way. And she says, take it to heart. But then when I follow that line of dialogue, she dislikes it. <laughs> My God. Anyway, uh, she wanted me to say this one, basically. Ah, rookies. With an attitude like that, at least I know we will not be bored. <laughs> Your stolen ship would have had to land at the station. So frustrating. If it was right off the fact that the board it. would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in me. He did give break. me a lead with that one. Yeah, there's a lot of people complain uh, about this game, about the, the companions, how... They're really inflexible in how they allow you to proceed. Like, if you want to be a scoundrel, none of the Constellation companions really will vibe with that at all. <laughs> Typical woman. <laughs> I can't figure them out, Hex. It's too confusing. But yeah, that, that was a outright contradiction there. But, you know, you gotta say what pleases them. Happy companion, happy life. Um... But yeah, this, this is one of the weaknesses of this game is the uh, attitudes of the companions are kind of inflexible. All right, take me to Billy Clayton. Come on, clock's always ticking. And there's more down here too. Ah, uh, let's go. Come on. Let's move along. We don't need to ask him all the questions. Hello. I'm pushing E. Can't wait for Moz to add some custom companions. Or at least like sort out the dialogues that allow you the a little bit more freedom to roleplay. Hmm. Just stop trying to figure this, us ladies out. It'll do your head that in. Was pretty impressive how you yeah, no, but we have to I have to figure it out. I just need to learn yeah, uh, how to manage it. All the reports. <laughs> Learn quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. I just did, now, did some mean rooting to and shooting. Here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hit. Yeah, they just need to mod a few more dialogue, a little bit more dialogue flexibility. I need to impress that place place and just make it more make more sense. Like justice is absolute. The reason I the liked her is when I met her, she was shooting a dude. That <laughs> justice can mean different things to different people. And now the she's all law and order. Interpreted and debated. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. You can rip out how you like, you just can't be attached to uh, them liking you, I guess. Which means you kind of have to be willing to discard the companions. Like, if you shoot a UC Vanguard ship, units available for rent, they all dislike that like with every shot. Trust me. Until at the end of that one encounter, they all hate you. I've accidentally shot one, that's how I know. <laughs> hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? I'm looking for a thief skilled enough to steal a ship from the factory. Make it quick, Scab. Oh my god. Alright. 
A stolen Hope Tech ship landed here recently. I need information on the pilot. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got you no have to. Just ship test out a new weapon. Config and one wandered hey. across my screen. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everything in Neon has a price. It sounds like they needed a whiteboard with the different characters' personalities and likes to dislikes to keep the story right. I'm sure they had one, but yeah, they they all have very similar opinions about stuff and a very strict sense of right and wrong for the most part. Um, yeah, like so, you accidentally shoot a UC Vanguard ship, and all you see is like disliked, disliked, hated that, hated that, hated that, hated that, and you just like totally. If you decided to be that kind of uh, role player where you're shooting everybody it just tanks your relationships with all of them uh, maybe this will jog your memory credits ain't really what I need there is something you can do for me oh, God. if you ask me there are better uses for credits oh man I can help you. <laughs> I'm right gonna put now, her back on the ship I haven't even done anything oh wrong. my god Free Star Rangers are supposed to protect See, she the innocent, disliked right? that. When I... Uh, Take care now. I mean, we're going to have to start accepting her uh, disliking stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's see. We're going to put her on the ship and leave her there. She's getting all judgy on me. I tried to give him a thousand credits. I need to impress that upon you. These days. Because the fact that you think oh, justice is absolute down. concerns me, Deputy. It's never all right. simple. We're gonna justice can mean different things If there things is something I can people. do, and laws please, can be interpreted. Why don't you wait there? I will keep watch from here. Yeah, there you go. Judgment and intuition My goodness. Be best for the people. Where'd he go? Seems like the Crimson Fleet is I mean, that was a goofy day. thing for her to her dislike. I suddenly get concerned about where I spend the credits. It's bad when you have to leave your girlfriend behind. <laughs> He's not even quite my girlfriend yet, that's the problem. Careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are refugees. I'm trying to work on that, which is why I care. Sorry. Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? All right. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? All right, so this didn't work anyway. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now, my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Free Star Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Uh, that's part of the job, yeah. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. We could try to persuade him. Uh, what syndicate are you talking about? The only one that matters around here. The Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. That being said, rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs. So they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. Alright. I'll talk to him, but you better make it worth my time. 
I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. All right, luckily he didn't hate that. Nice blue suit. Awesome. All right, I got two things now. What's three things? All right. Acquire a warehouse key. Not special, but you like to look. I want a nice suit. I got a pretty good uh, suit here. A nice leather suit. I want to set up a outpost on Neon and catch chasm bass fish, but uh, none of it's land. Can't. I'm sure they did that on purpose. Ooh, big nets of slimy fishes. Got my deputy outfit on. I haven't shot anybody yet. This uh, Well, we shot some pirate ships, I guess. We haven't had any combat yet. Private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. You said that. All right, that's probably not going to work, huh? We're trying to get. We leveled persuasion one, didn't we? We probably need to get more persuasion. Do you now? Uh, there must be some way we can both win here. I'd like to think so. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, that's what I like to hear. What's the harm if you help me? You oh. think I'm a pushover? Maybe you've got fail. I don't know. I said you ain't getting in here, and I meant it. Now get lost. All right, show our badge. Nah, I don't think so. Neon's got a ranger, and you ain't him. Pay money. As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick I thought visit. that would be the one. Here, this will get you in. Okay. <laughs> he gives me a key. See, would would uh, Andresia have disliked that when I paid him? I wonder. Look at this. Just keep walking. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get a little save in here. In case it all goes south. You want to be able to make your own ocean outpost too? Uh, here's our dude. So is this the blue suit we'll get? I like the one that uh, she's wearing. Actually, I think I have that one. A new customer, perhaps? Except it's not blue. Well, it's black. Now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me what brings you by, friend. A little light They're on They're big on the on asymmetrical you. fashion. I'm here about the debt you're trying to collect from Billy Clayton. Yeah, I, yeah, I've got that one. Oh, it's awful kind You can of buy it off of one of the shops. Behalf, but I think I have the matter well in hand. 
Thank you all the same for your concern. I do not find that very amusing. What are you doing here? <laughs> what is she doing here? She's not here. Uh, Billy doesn't know you a thing. The debt was his brother's. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my Asymmetrical fault fashion, Billy so 2010. It, but make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? That's none of your business. But you're making it my business. I have a legal right to collect what's owed to me. No law is being broken here. So we could shoot him. It's probably be fun. Uh, and he is bad. Uh, let's see if we can get the persuasion and then shoot him. We're not going to pay him. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Uh, we'll start with this one. Getting on the ranger's bad side can come back to haunt you. Seems nope. to me like you're a long way from a key. People city. don't care about the rangers here. We gotta get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How much time you've got isn't my We problem. failed it. <laughs> do you think I like having to do this? I don't. Oh, we got another turn. We need three. Uh, and that's not going to work out. So, yeah, we did fail it. This is the only one. No need to lose your cool. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. Okay. And uh, she is here. Hey, let's do a little F5. And... Oh, you know what? We need to get out of third person. You're making us off! And once again, we are triumphant. Okay, she didn't mind. <laughs> good, good, good. Good work. See, she didn't mind that at all. Cold blooded murder. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in my pockets. <laughs> oh, wrong one. All right. Yeah, unlock this. Get some goodies. Oh, we got two doggies in here right now. Uh, I think we do that one, and then that one. Boop. Oh no, that's not right. All right, uh, that one and that one. Yeah, they're both cool looking. This one I have is so lethal. It's mag shot, which I don't really know what that is. Is that it? I just murderized some bad guys. Huh? Oh no, she's she's my companion. No. Absolutely not. 
My son's trying to get me to shoot Andresia. Is that all the goodies? I didn't get a suit though, did I? Was I not supposed to kill him to get the suit? I just didn't like him at all, and I hadn't shot anybody in a long time. I think we got all the things. We didn't go up this side, or this side. This goes to the same place, right? Yeah. Ooh, I almost missed a cred stick. Monies. All right, that's all the things, right? Did we get a suit? Corporal boardroom suit. Corporal power suit. So this one, neon business wear. It's the same thing, but it's not blue. Oh, syndicate boss suit. Here we go. <laughs> we did get it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, she's so weird. She doesn't man mind me shooting these guys. But if I bribe them, she'll hate it. Whoa. Okay. All right, we'll see what comes of that. The ranger handling business. And now where's Andresia? Yeah, yeah, I know this place stinks, but it's a living. If I have to eat fish for dinner. Coming right now, and you may even have a chance to I guess she's still waiting for me even though she was there. So we got to talk to Billy Clayton. If she's still waiting for me, it'll be in activities, right? Retrieve waiting followers. Uh, we'll wait on that. I guess that's kind of a bug that she showed up there. So we got to talk to Billy Clayton. Expect a warm welcome from Goodman. Well, it's a little late for that. Did you talk to Goodman? I solved your little problem. Now tell me what I want to know. Well, have you got any proof? When a ranger says they're going to do something, they do it. Now start talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. 
That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Okay. He's following me now. Cool. Sleep crates for rent. Madam Savages. Gives persuasion, nice. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? What's up? Aurora, it's a, a free star ranger and his. What are you? A sidekick or something? <laughs> She's cute. Uh, something like that, yeah. Now that's what I call real conviction. So, how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. I like her. Maybe I should have put my persuasion suit on. Uh, which game do I think is better? Starfield or Cyberpunk? They're different games. They're both different games. I don't think you can really compare them directly. They both have things I like. Um... And they both have stuff to annoy me. I, I'd have to say Starfield has a little bit more annoying stuff. Um, but, you know, I like, I'm like i good at having fun at games. So uh, I want to play both of them. So we'll put it that way. But, yeah, I've been thinking about this a lot, about game reviews and the whole thing about is a game good or bad? And getting kind of philosophical about that because... If a game has what you want to get out of it, what? even though it has some bad parts. Am I that distracting? You know, then it's good, right? All right. You are distracting. <laughs> I just need some information. It could help save lives. Aw, ain't you polite? I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger and I need your help. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? You provided the means for mercenaries to intimidate and threaten an innocent person. Look, they didn't tell me what they were going to do. Yeah, you have a lot of games How you like for different reasons. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I, I guess I didn't. Her tone is changing. Ah, uh, should we try to persuade? We do need more persuasions. Let's just do it for our persuasion points. It, it's not that simple. We got to get six. We got three three turns. You don't even seem you don't seem to understand. I need this information now. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you. Okay. I know you'd like to help me if you could. I hear you. Um, neither one of these are good. There's some issue, probably. It's complicated, right? So what's the harm if, I, if you tell me? I'd like to tell you. I really would. All right. Excellent. We got another success in the speech challenge. They need a dice roll. Yeah. <laughs> Play on her good nature. I did. Um, uh, 
I give you my word. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Uh, did she say why they needed the ship? Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. Why would you agree to such a risky job? <laughs> you serious? Take your pick. Money? Reputation? The thrill of it? All good reasons. I can dig it. Did she say where she was being treated? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Hey, Rally! Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? It is a dice roll. You just don't get to see the numbers. Yeah. I'm not necessarily living the ranger life, but I am following the ranger quest. <laughs> I have my feet in all of the faction quests, which I think you know. And I just put up a poll up at the beginning of the uh, stream which one people wanted me to pursue on this stream and they chose the rangers so seemed as good as any to follow up on now let's ask some more questions did anyone in the first give you a way to contact them no nothing at all <laughs> left me feeling a little disappointed given how well they paid me did marco ever give you his location not so much as a hint i'll tell you <laughs> Random person standing behind her. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure, he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. What do you know about the men you, that you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. All right, that's all I need to know for now. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. I know you've I'm finished this go. whole quest, rather, Riley. I'm gonna jack ships, too, so I can't be judgmental. <laughs> you're free. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh. You're welcome? Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. All right, he's no longer following me, and we're supposed to go to Aquila City. All right, let's go ahead and you uh, have you been to the astral pick Andresia back up. I had to leave her somewhere because she kept disliking my my interactions <laughs> in this really weird ways. Very contradictory. For a Varun smuggler, man, she tries to be a goody two shoes. Good working with you, deputy. You want to steal a ship in the quest line that you can't? Yeah. We're gonna do some more ship stealing, but I have to make a new ship because that mantis ship. I can't pirate with because they run away from me too quick. So we gotta. I don't think I'm gonna buy one. We gotta jack one somewhere. Or make enough money to build one from scratch. 
You ran with Sam during this leg, leg of travel? I mean, that would make sense. He annoys me, though. I just want to punch him in the face. And he puts his daughter on the ship that keeps getting shot at. <laughs> He's just boring. Um, and and is the one I'm trying to romance, so I'm keeping her with me, but uh, she can be difficult. Is she still in here? Yeah, I had to leave my girlfriend behind so I could get away with whatever I wanted. I wasn't even doing anything outrageous. She's up here. We uh, shot up the syndicate guy. You are a welcome diversion. What do you need? I will watch your back. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go to Aquila City. Jacket ship, retrofit, the jigsaw is born. Exactly. Exactly. All right, we could fast travel out of here. It's more aversive to get lost and try to find my way out. She doesn't mind slaughter. No. But yeah, she has a weird sense of law and order for a Varun smuggler. I'd be making a fortune if they let us fish. Or a weird, uh. uh addiction to it. The pithy vagrant? <laughs> I love that one. Good, yeah. The jigsaw is pretty good, especially for a monkey puzzle. Let's go. Yeah, you can shoot up a whole room full of people, of bad people, and she's fine. But you try to bribe somebody, and she's like, Andreja disliked that. Killed for a cup of coffee right about now. Security. Or the, the Jason Price, for the, when I got in there, he was like, you know, you got to do things in a certain way in Neon. Because not everybody is, like, down with the law. And she's like, yeah, you should take those words to heart. And then when I said I won't make any trouble, she disliked that. Because she's like, you got to uphold the law. Like, <laughs> Oh, Raleigh, you're fired. <laughs> what is sin this is? <laughs> I find the interior of this ship comforting. You're searching those deep Something crannies new? of your mind there. Talk to me. All right, back to Aquila. I got this ship nice and lethal. But I don't get time to blast people's engines because they're out of there before that. Well, how you doing, Meng? Did you have your D&D okay, already? Alright, where are we going? Aquila City. Shine. Cool. How's your campaign going? First day as an evil character. I could see you being evil. You're definitely evil in the way you get me in trouble. Sorry. Spaceport's always a zoo. I like shenanigans. Watch it. Ships coming and going all the time. Private sector. I know Aquila City rather well. Perhaps better than I would like.
Apparently there used to be a bug here where you could look at the mud and see the inventories for um, these guys' stores and take it all. Apparently they fixed that. Isn't evil character your default state of rally? No. Raleigh's just more like chaotic rascal. So I'm trying to be here. I didn't let Andresia follow me around all the time. Hey, deputy. Welcome to the rock. I'm proud to be helping. We're not we're not even official yet. She's already cramping my style. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living. Yeah. Look who it is. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? That's my kind of place. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Yeah, I need your help with the encryption on the slate. I don't know what the difference of all these are. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. <laughs> <laughs> I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Aww. Have fun with that. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. New deputy, huh? Honor to have you. Who's talking to me? Oh, where'd you come from? If you're looking for the rangers, check the upper levels or the cantina. Okay. All right, what are we supposed to, what are we supposed to do now? Took around 500 damage while being healed, endured mental torment, and failed a wisdom, wisdom roll at the end. I can see you failing a wisdom roll. <laughs> <laughs> Result was that I had to shift alignment to evil after that much exposure to an evil object. Oh, so you didn't make a new character? Your character just went evil? Interesting. That sounds fun. Uh, how do I get up there? I don't understand this place. We have a sorcerer with 21 AC now. And figuring out lawful evil. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Yes, but I did all the work. Ranger Price was so much help. <laughs> Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. Devoted to our cause, willing to do whatever I need to keep us on track. <laughs> um, I think I've earned more than the promotion. Uh, I've earned a promotion. Thank me when I've taken down the first. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from the starship thief? Uh, the first has a money man called Marco and also someone named Maya Cruz. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. Yeah, I have a long way to catch up to Lawful Evil. I guess Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move.
What else can you tell me about Maya Cruz? They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Oh, he's not talking about our uh, Baldur's Gate 3 game, Hex. He's got his own uh, D&D session going on with some um, some neighbors. Turns out they played D&D, so... Yeah, I'm not in that campaign. Lawful evil isn't too bad. I would say that you follow the rules to the letter, but inflict harm when there's no conflict with your packs and code of conduct. Yeah, real life D&D &D game with neighbors. What's up, Max D. Rob Z? What's up, traveling? Welcome in. Yeah. Lawful evil actually is pretty straightforward. It's chaotic evil or even chaotic neutral that gets it really interesting. Not following a code is a lot harder, I think, than actually following Still a code. Still with me? One second. Okay, um, we did that one. You think you know who Marco is? There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. You're wrapped up in your Empyrean Galactic Survival? I lurked a little bit during one of your streams. I just didn't say hi because I couldn't stick around very long. Um, but I, I went in there and checked out what you're doing. You're definitely deep into that. Yeah, Chaotic Neutral is difficult because I end up, like, doing good things, you know, which you're not excluded from being chaotic neutral but that's not chaotic neutral right so it's you have to for me i have to work hard not to fall into my natural good guy role yeah if you follow your whims no impulse control yeah but your impulses can't get too consistent right otherwise you're not chaotic and neutral anymore you're that's drifting. the thing i am i'm talking to my chat man um I need some information to track them down. Like what? Where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Marco's keeping his location a secret. How can I find it? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space. So we've got no jurisdiction there. I carry my jurisdiction at my hip. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Okay. Or at least information Getting more towards the ne next level. UK Act neutral means I can help someone if their beliefs align with mine. If they don't, I'm not overly worried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh... I, don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess I also think UK Act neutral not, it means, like, not necessarily having strong beliefs. I mean, I guess you could have your own goals for your own interests. But you wouldn't necessarily be very affiliated. Maybe. I don't know. It's getting very philosophical now. <laughs> All right. So we need to... We got two things either. We can go to 
track down my Cruz or we can track down uh, Marco at the Red Mile. We were supposed to go to the Red Mile for something else, too. There's a lot of rides for what Catholic is. Yeah. But for me, it kind of means like lack of consistency. Otherwise, it's, it's it becomes lawful. Uh, go to the clinic. That one sounds a little bit more boring. Let's do this one first. Especially since he might be mad at me. I think they haven't had anybody disagree with is that a chaotic person has no interest in following any rules. Exactly. But pursuing self-interest is definitely we um, guard if we venture outside the city. The Ashtar are quite makes some formidable. sense. You streamed on Twitch a lot more. Having a good one? Yeah, I've streamed on Twitch too. Personal freedom. So they're libertarians. Hmm? Yeah, then D and D can definitely have its own definition of it, which is what we're talking about. <laughs> so yeah, it's more cut and dry Hi. there. Please Hi. disregard. I attempted it. It's good to be back in our own ship. Indeed. Should be at least one video of you working on building the ship. Lifting off now. Yeah, I wish I had the pull for Imperian. It looks like they put a lot of work into it. it definitely offers a lot of options. Recalculating. And orbit stabilizing. All right, where are we going? Going to Porima. To I gotta remember to be scanning things too. We gotta find a planet. I want to find a temperate planet with copper. You need a way to uh, make more money for the ships you want. Yeah, uh, printing stuff at your outpost. It's one way to do it. I gained 12 levels today by uh, printing like 21,000 kilos worth of adaptive frames. <laughs> I made about 50 grand doing it, 50, 60 grand. All right, here's the red mile. Um, actually... Let's, uh, just set course for Parima so we can scan it. No? Didn't work that way? Oh, graph jump in progress. Okay. Oh, I just don't have any... Oh, I didn't put any... Uh, I didn't put anything into the grav drive. How many times do you need to sleep to get those creds? Quite yes. a bit. I had the game open while I was watching YouTube on the other screen. <laughs> Sleeping wasn't the, the bad part. It was... Um, the stuff that comes on the shuttle from the other outpost, sleeping doesn't make that go any faster. So you actually have to let the shuttle land a couple times. 
Alright, so I wanted to scan. Uh did I not scan it? I can't scan it from the map. I can't scan it that way. Alright, no copper. Alright, this is a boring planet. Alright, let's go on ahead. To the red mile. Yeah, so to really speed it up, to have an outpost that has both Let's in it, or whatever you need. But what I want to do is make the, um, which one are they? The Rhea stats, I think? There's one that's worth like 83 credits. It takes copper and beryllium. Seemed like the highest one you could make directly. You've been doing that most of my stream and gotten over 90,000 90, credits? Cool. It feels a little cheaty, but it's in the game. So, I just felt like my levels was lagging so much behind my gameplay. Like, today we've been playing for three hours, and I haven't gained a level a yet, besides the ones I did there. I suppose, but hardly more civilized. Another place to sell is Titan. Every hour it's 48 UT, but there's only a couple places to sell. Yeah. Neon's pretty good, and if you're in the, uh, the Crimson Pirate faction, there's like five vendors all in a row there. If you automate it, you don't get the XP. So you gotta manually craft, manually craft it. But you can do 99 at a time if you get your mouse in the right place. I didn't do anything wrong. Whoa. Oh, shit. You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. Uh, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. <laughs> That's enough, stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this. Later. Sure, Bob. I can't wait. If you just want them for money. But the Stay in line, and we won't have a problem. Okay, then. Hey, watch out. You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. Um, the thing is, if you're making them for money, Bum, the amount that I made would far exceed any amount of storage you could create. Uh, like I said, I had like 24,000 kilos on me by the end. You know how many storage crates that would take? So, yeah. Having, <laughs> freaking my laundry basket. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. Um... But, uh, yeah, just keeping it on your person is the only way to go, really. Just being completely over-encumbered. Ridiculously cucumbered. Uh... Seriously, knock it off and just say what you've got to say. Well, I don't really want to say any of these, but we'll just go this. Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things. Oh, our I didn't even way. know that was here. Best way to keep people in line is. I haven't fear. been inside yet. After you see your first head split, I know what you're talking about floor, now. You're gonna think twice okay. about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? I just saw like a little short of somebody doing that. I didn't know where it was. Okay. Call it whatever you want. 
We're ecliptic mercenaries, so I'd think twice about pissing us off, or else you may find yourself with nowhere to hide. Okay. What do you think, moron? Money. May pays us well to keep the assholes out. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. Free booze, free entertainment, you name it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, well, we've got ways of making people disappear. Okay. Now go on, get. No, yeah, I gave you the idea. I just, I hadn't been inside and know that was the connection that this is that place. Did I get the go to the red mile activity now? I did. Okay. May fortune smile on you today. You better Autumn. watch it. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. <laughs> wide-eyed and clueless. Uh, that's right. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't we'll be worse. Push it off the table trick. Yeah. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. This is a wonderful beginning to an assignment. All right. Why are you assuming I'll be a burden? Because I've trained new recruits before, and it's not an experience I want to repeat. I'm sorry to be a bother, but I've got a job to do. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch yeah, you up, she's so snippy. you're going to have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able she to won't even make eye market. contact with me. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. And the funny thing is, you'd like to romance your contact? Oh, really? Let's go. Let's go meet this contact. Who is this contact? She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. I like the woman who stole the Hope Tech ship. I thought she was pretty cute. She had a nice feisty attitude. What was her name? Need the bigger booty mod. <laughs> Follow me. No, no, I'm intrigued. I'm sure you're all about Autumn. Like those snippety bees. Oh yeah, look at all them credits. It can get rowdy. I think that might be Donovan Reese. I just like him intensely. Yeah, well, things changed. Take a seat. Jade? You like Jade? Come on, sit. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? I'm here uh, on behalf of a friend of mine who would like to get your number. I'm Deputy Estrella Campa. I'm a good friend of Autumn. She was thrilled to see me. Wait, Autumn has friends. <laughs> like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Every hunter needs prey, baby. They're trying to take land from farmers, and I want to know why. Seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Uh, help me find him and, and bring him to justice. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is Marco's incredibly paranoid. We'll see, Sir Garwin. We'll see. Never stays in one place for long. 
The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. Smuggler's life for you. People who can arrange such a meeting I can dig right it. right here at Red Mile. May divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Mm, I can be very persuasive. Let's ask this question first, though. She's the owner and manager here. Inherited the place when her husband was killed. I can be very persuasive. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. Ugh. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. What was that about the death sentence? <laughs> What's a runner exactly? Someone who volunteers to run the Red Mile. A deadly stretch of terrain just outside the cantina. It's infested with hostile creatures and few people survive. Oh, we're definitely going to do this. The ones that do earn a reputation. Hell, I'm up for it. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy. Because this is life and death we're talking about. <laughs> you have played your hand well, Jade. Using the rangers to eliminate a rival. Very clever. From where I'm sitting, we're using each other. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? That's Something right. on your mind? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh. So, yeah, since we're here... Please be careful out there. That's the thing we gotta do. Um. Why don't you come over here, Andreja? I think you're probably not gonna care about this, but... Let me be clear. We're gonna have you hang out over here anyway. I trust you are well. I'll be here when you need me. Okay. All right, let's get us a basket. All right, let's do a nice little save here. <laughs> See, this one's very much an exploit because it's just abusing the physics. It's kind of immersion breaking, but um. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, quick save. Kick back with a drink from the bar and enjoy yourself. Where can I get a basket? I hear May's always looking for new and returning runners from the Red Mile. I need a basket. Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. Yeah, I, I never did this before. I just saw, like I said, I saw a short of someone doing it. That's, that's the run. Basket? Where's the basket, Sorelli? One upstairs. Uh, laundry basket. This one is this. Oh, this is okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Do you remember when you applied for this job fresh from school, saying that you wanted to gain more practical, real-world experience? 
Well, it's not always pretty or beautiful. Sometimes this is how things work. It's not every day you meet someone known throughout the settled systems. <laughs> but here I am. Come on, let's see if we can pull this off. Make a few credits off. I can't believe Donovan Reese is actually here in this bar. That guy is a legend. Okay, you can't pick up the book, apparently, huh? Oh, I just passed up their cards. Talk to me. I think he used a beer bottle, huh? Oh. All right. <laughs> the beer bottle was stealing. <laughs> That's why we did the quick save. Okay. Take two. Play by the house rules. You'll find yourself on the other side of an airlock. This is a delicate operation. Who knew? They would mind they didn't mind me taking their cards. But the beer bottle was a no-go. Pardon me. That's really simple out there on the red mile. Just don't die. Can I use an empty? Well, this place used to be a real dive, but the things are looking up. Empty. I keep thinking I should run the course someday, but after seeing some of the deaths firsthand. Stealing, stealing, stealing. Lynn is really trying to turn this place. There you go. Oh, so good. What's this I hear about you giving one of my crew a hard time, Reese? I can't wait for the running. Run. I assumed you were over She's right the here. Death <laughs> wish thing. But maybe I was wrong. Well, well. We're gonna do it right in front of her. Little General Stalker. I hope you'll forgive me if I don't stand <laughs> up and salute. You would last a minute in the Red Mile. I'm just not all that impressed by me. you, your lad, <laughs> classes and all. It's a pleasure Playing to have you. soldiers. Oh, and you can... This is not easy. Is there a way to make it get farther away? Yeah, well, I can't believe you better stop messing with my unit or there are going to be consequences. That guy is a legend. Oh, you mean consequences like how you and your bloody weekend warriors are driving all the business out of Red Mine? It's going to be one to remember. Thanks to you, I'm barely able to fulfill my... Very lucrative contract. All right. You'd rather go back to the days when this place I'm trying was to do something here. Would you go somewhere else? <laughs> sure. The occasional pirate raid would set us back a bit. I took the job so I could eat and guess see all the dogs in person. I think I knocked one out. Most of them. I'd fire the lot of you right now. Take my chances with the pirates. Well, it's not up to you, is it? Meanwhile, here's some free advice. Next time you get drunk, try picking a fight with someone who isn't carrying. I'll pick it up from further away. I can only hold my subordinates back ah. for so long before they finally get tired of your BS. Get the hell out of my there we face, go. you pretentious wanker. I'm already bored with this conversation. <laughs> it's a good thing you're so funny, Reese. It's the only thing keeping me from kicking your ass. Spare me. There we go. May runs a tidy establishment. Gotta be careful not to knock him out. You want a drink? Maybe a room for the night? It's funky Bethesda physics, man. I keep thinking the next time I'll live up to my legacy. You don't need these. I can just help you out with that. Is something bothering you, Well, there's something that's been troubling you. There you go. Let's hear it, dear. It's these equipped mercenaries. They keep demanding free drinks. Yeah, let me do the walk. The slow walk. If someone's got a death wish. They don't play by the same rules as other security. I'll get close when I, get close when I pick up the basket. If it happens again, tell them that on my authority, they're required to 
It's always happy to have more father for the beast. If they disagree, they can take it up. I'm here, we're getting this, we're getting this. It's hilarious, right? Especially with that guard, like, intimidating right in front of me while I do it. They're none the wiser. Alright, there are there more anywhere? I think that's most of them, yeah? Master of Thief, they have no idea. This place used to be a real dive, but things are looking up. That's all of them, right? That's why I hired you and your people. I trust if this pirate... You will be talking to the other side of my boat if you... So subtle. Go ahead. Start some trouble. I think it's just those. I think I should run the course someday. Yeah, no, they won't notice at all. I can't wait for This is totally immersive. Alright, I think that's all of them. If you're looking to register, you'll need to speak to Ms. Devine. Lynn is really trying to turn this place around. I need to it's point in stealth so I can have a stealth meter. Okay, let's do another save here. Well, we try to do the recovery. And then... <laughs> you wouldn't last a minute get real in close. Of course, I oh, we actually even, we can even crouch. Grab this. I took this job so I could be here to see all the runners in person. I want to drop it. Most, most of them I see only once. No tips at the dining tables, right? Yowza. Real close. The mile is dangerous. Make sure you're prepared. Oh, we're dropping them. Gosh darn it. It's all jiggly. Jiggly jiggly. Word to the wise. Security here is run by mercs. They don't play by the same rules as other security officials. See if we can do this. Not bad. The heist. <laughs> nice. Do 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 do. Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. All right, I guess we'll have to leave those behind. And if what you say is true, a little bit sloppy. If someone's got a death wish, why not make a few quiz? But hey, we got it. All right. <laughs> Let's talk to her. Hi. Fortune await in the Red Mile. If you have Keeps adding credits over there. Ah, a new face. I wonder. Keeps adding credits. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life. My name is May. Use the beer I'm bottle the to run the credits you dropped to the bathroom too. Home of the famous we could. Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. That's why I'm here. Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the settled system's most exciting sporting event? 
Why even people from the most backwoods systems like Seoul have heard of the Red Mile? <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. I'm looking for Marco. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Probably this one's better, huh? I want to work for him. It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Mark. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Indeed. Stand up and salute. I'm just not all that impressed by you, your lads, lasses, and all. Yep. I give you my word, which is something I never do lightly. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets for my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. All right. Yeah. Well, oh, can I bet on myself? You better stop messing with my unit, or there are going to be consequences. I'm afraid not. <laughs> but I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. All right. I'll definitely be coming back alive. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected, of you, are you ready to begin? Yeah, I need to prepare. Please do. I'm prepared runners tend not to last very long on the mile. Oh, uh, I saw a broom. Oh, they've got the broom. Can I use that? Uh, it's a pleasure to have I hope you'll enjoy it. It's a good thing you're so funny, Reese. It's the only thing keeping me from kicking your ass. Spell me. You were cleaning up. It's probably not worth too much effort at this point. There's only three of them. You want to help out with that broom of you? Incredibly brave. <laughs> I won't forget that. <laughs> what I'm doing is incredibly brave. She won't forget it. It's hard to make ground contact. Man, that's a long way to the bathroom. <clears throat> I keep thinking I should run the course someday, but after seeing some of the deaths firsthand, maybe not. You want to help out? I give you a cut. Excuse me. All right, Hex. I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by again. Always a pleasure to have you. Shuffleboard with creds. Uh oh. Come on. Out of my way. May runs a tidy establishment. Let's keep it that way. Okay. Night, Hex. Almost got it. There we go. Save. 
crouch. All right. <laughs> Gotta get out, get out of my way. I'm cleaning up the money here. <laughs> Someone dropped all this dirty money on the floor. It's messing up the place. I keep the next time all right, we'll leave that one there. That'll be too much work. All right, before I run the red mile, guys, I gotta go to the bathroom Quick real quick. Just I'll just hang out the here by May. I'll be right back. Smoothly, I trust. I'm a little preoccupied. Tell me everything. Uh, it's about Donovan. He keeps adding to his tab, but he hasn't paid anything in a while. I don't want to be too harsh about it, but at some point, enough's got to be enough, right? Ah, yes. I can see how that would put you in a difficult position. Were it any other patron, I'd insist on firmer measures. Mr. Reese, however, is a special guest and will be treated as such. If you feel you cannot in good faith extend his credit further, come and see me. I'll take care of it. I'll do that. I know it probably chafes at your sense of fairness, but the reality is that sometimes famous people get special treatment. That's just the way of things. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. If you fancy yourself a red mile runner, just speak to me. Enjoy your time. Yeah, that other bathroom is only for stealing money, not for actually going to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, I got some coffee. I got a little flatbread. So I can keep going. All right, so she left me. I'm ready. Very well. Follow me. 
Oh, does it make any sense to bring Andresia with this? She won't die, right? She'll help. We need to find Let's Aaron, get moving. Or at least information about him. Yes, good. Let's go. Alright, let's go. And then, uh, I haven't... What other weapons do I have? So I've got... A Mutineer? That's probably my best one. The Ashley Tamer is pretty good from a distance. Well, actually, yeah, that does uh, 127. Excuse me, this one's good from a distance. Probably should pull that one up. You ended up leaving your follower behind. We'll see how it goes. Things people will do to. We'll get another save right here in case it doesn't go well with her. Fine, money. So far, I haven't had a follower die or even get down. They seem almost invincible. Thanks, Trey. Once you've done so, return your alive and your run will be complete. Go now, runner, and see if you can survive the mile. All right. Kick back with a drink from the bar. Show yourself. Just a mile. What could go wrong? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had that happen yet. Let's see how it goes. Last chance. <laughs> Upgrade your weapons real quick. Alright, where are we supposed to go? lagging behind already. Alright. Get some XP, hopefully. Killing some critters. So. I only got 62 bullets for this. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Alright. Something may be nearby. I need to get up there. And then, uh... <laughs> He's tanky. Probably shouldn't worry about scanning stuff while I'm here, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's too much multitasking. Alright, this thing is gonna do poison gas.
They are really bullet sponges. Alright, which way are we going? That way? There are a lot of them. Oh, you know what? And, uh, where was my, um, combat drug? Seven. Takes some heart. And also, didn't I... Oh, I thought I got some Aurora, but I guess I didn't. Oh, they're blend. There it is. So that will slow time when I need to on five. It shows up as food. Oh, uh, getting some points for weightlifting. Nice. This ain't so bad. see it. Are they the ones shooting that stuff? Something's shooting at me. You blend. How you doing? She's hanging in fine. Chasm bass? How did I mess up? Do I say it a different way? But it's chasm and bass, right? Shambas? No. Casambas. I hope wherever you store that the smell will not be an issue. But I've seen a lot of people mispronounce it. Oh, we gotta go all the way back, huh? Uh, we are... Overburdened. Let's sort by weight. Uh, let's, I guess we'll drop these two. 
No, I don't want to put it on. I'm going to drop it. Okay, now we're good. Alright. How'd you get there? Wrong button. Probably shouldn't be picking anything up. Oh, how did I get that? Oh, because I'm in scan mode. Whoa, hey, cheater. Shooting. Thanks sure reloads a lot. Yeah, falling through the map is a way to not get shot. Hopefully Andresia's alright. Am I overloaded again? I get for picking stuff up. She's doing all right, right? Something important or just did you need me to carry something for you? Yeah, you're squirming funny. Let's see, boom. Not that. Oh, it's stolen. All right, uh, that should be pretty good, right? Another time. Okay. This ain't so bad. I'm glad I thought to get those blends. And this gun is just BA. Good XP. It's hair trigger, so when you barely tap it, it shoots a whole bunch of times.
Blend has the same effect as Aurora, but it's not contraband. Hey, we got some zoology points. So, it's great that way. It's not illegal, basically. But it has the same effect. Except you have to buy it from the guy. I can't make it. Yeah, super useful. You can see how slow in time was, was really valuable. And Treasure did great, bum. No problem. I don't know how much it was. Everything is so hyperinflated in here. I mean, you can spend thousands on bullets. You guys look related almost. Got all your limbs. I do. All of them. By the way, she's got we got her wearing the red spacesuit. Looks very cute. Where's my adoring crowd to cheer me? Congratulations, Runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. I know, In I looted the bodies. You seem none the worse for wear. It was a cakewalk. <laughs> I'm not easily impressed. Andrea liked that. You've managed to surprise me. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take I had a, a broken ankle, and apparently. enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. So she likes me boasting. <laughs> okay. I hear you're one of the runners to watch. You, you made it tougher than you look. Can't sit to talk to her. Do I have to sit first? You're back. Are you okay? Uh, better than ever. It was fun. And here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. You were worried about me? Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Wow, her tone also, has really I, changed, hasn't it? I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Uh, don't worry about it. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. Yes, ma'am. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself They're useful sisters. and get us Okay. Now we know. Why well, she's not arresting her for smuggling. I considered placing a bet against you. But I didn't. <laughs> well done. It's not every day you meet someone known Should for pick that up? Sister. Probably not a good idea. It's a pleasure to have you. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Uh, what did your message say about me? Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. 
Okay. Uh, what else can you tell me about him? He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. All right, then I'll be headed for Kodos. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Mile. <laughs> Go to Kodos. So I don't get like a reward or something for that? Oh, she, a lot of people survive the mile. I hear you're one of the runners to watch. Yeah. I should get a big reward or something, huh? What's this place? Yeah. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's asking? Who's asking? The starport master of Red Mile is who? Think that'd be obvious, given what I just asked you. Of course. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I didn't I think gotta so. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure, and now I'm on the outs. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> Sounds like this place went through a lot of changes. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Uh, doesn't need any repairs? I mean, I could charge you, but I won't. There's no work to be done on that ship of yours. Okay. I wonder what he has for sale. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Look at what we got in stock. So, we got the... How much do I have right now? We're up to 93,000. We could buy the Trader Railstar. Mustang. The Vindicator. That's looking pretty solid. <laughs> Transpo. Venture. Nimitz. That looks dangerous. Wendigo. Okay. See ya. All right, let's go. to be nice. I get paid to put down I don't get paid to be nice. So next stream, we'll go and do uh, Andresia's stuff. I need some better, a better looking spacesuit. Man, this one's weird. Captain, greetings. We be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Okay, activities got updated. Sarah's on the floor. Excuse me. Okay, so we gotta go to the place where dude was. Painted cargo on the bottom. Look alive. Orbit locked. Oh, we got some spacers. You just look at that. Oh. Oh, here's 
base for Scarab. I'm gonna try to board it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Do we need any healing? Oh, we're fine. You ran out of luck. Not the Nike, but oh, do I have someone still shooting at me? I thought someone was. Can't grab that stuff. Because I'm still in combat. Who's shooting at me? Where is he? It's not showing red. There he is. on the other side. There we go. Oh. There got us. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Well, we managed to kill him. Which is points for our, um... Ooh, we lost focus. Points for our piloting. Trying to knock their engines out, but ended up just destroying them. Okay, where are we going? We are going. Um, no. Okay, let's go this. Fortuna. Let's go.
You know what a grab drive is. I think it's legit that she's should. a teacher. You wrote a paper on it. <laughs> I'm not sure Billy does know what a grab drive is. Class, please talk quietly amongst yourselves. This is important. Do you have any extra ship parts? How could the school district put you in all in, all in danger? The whole fleet is made of charitable donations, so the ships are always breaking down. And the district's mechanics are few and overworked. How many do you need? Let me see. Hi, Mrs. Pookie. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Is it a pirate? Pirates? There are pirates? What? No. No pirates. Everyone is safe. <laughs> Actually, I am a pirate, but not much profit in knocking off school buses. <laughs> I can be Constellation. I could be a pirate. Uh, we'll be with UC Vanguard. Uh-huh. At least she could have been like a Marine. Oh, they would have liked it if I was a pirate. How daring. See? The authorities are here and they'll help us. Thank you. I should have been a pirate. Now, everyone, settle down. The driver said ship parts should be sufficient for us to repair And ship, ship parts? Oh my god. Alright, let's give him... Apparently we have it. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Class, we'll be leaving shortly. Everyone buckle in. All right, that was our charitable deed for the day. Scan. Okay. I need to go. That's a lot of ship parts. The site is clear. Let's hit that. I guess we're not so bad after all. If you need to harvest any organic materials, now would be the time. Yeah. Captain. Oh, it's temperate here. This is the ship you wanted? Ah. Yeah, the quest ships you can't steal, unfortunately. The other one that was in here too, the Hope Tech ship that got stolen, you couldn't steal that either. You're being weird, Andresia. Oh, this is fancy. It's got like a lobby and stuff? What? Bus is in the back. Wow. It's got a lobby. <laughs> anyone who allows us just hallways and like living this, walls. Very, very confident. Displays. Oh, I, I suppose very insecure. It's a museum. Yeah, I dig it. What? This is huge. Can't be this big. Are we impressed? Clearly, that is the goal. Is this like a pocket dimension? <laughs> Never mind. I am not impressed. <laughs> Never mind. I am not impressed. Ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. It really puts the soul at ease. <laughs> so these are all cavalry veterans that felt betrayed. Dang, dude. Yeah, I want it too. But clearly, you can steal it. It doesn't fit the classic ship model. You couldn't do stuff to it. It's lovely, though. Golden Lions, a bar. Yeah, dude. 
Oh, well, got it. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. I am Diego Montoya. You killed my father. Prepared to die. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> Raleigh really wanted to steal it. I'm not here to work for you. I'm here to stop you. Is this going to work out? Got some questions about the first. Right, maybe we shouldn't show the badge yet? I should have saved. Very well. Okay, we're going to save. <laughs> Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Let's skip the badge for a second. You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member. I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most... Independent traders. So there is a constant need for skilled pilots. All right, we got to do one of these. I've got some questions. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. <laughs> Tread carefully, Marco. You underestimate the deputy at your peril. Yeah, there we and go. who might you be? Just talking Call up for me. me. Andresha. Andresha. Welcome to my home, Andresha. If I may be so bold, you possess a certain mystique. It's a pleasure to have you hey, here. Hey, the feeling is not mutual, and I am not the one with whom you should be trying to curry favor, Marco. <laughs> wow. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. Prognosis improved. Torn muscle. Why would the Major want a confrontation? We already know that. This doesn't seem wise. Or at least it seems like we might end it early. To settle accounts. Major Hull served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turned on him. In his eyes? The Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you easy. They are corrupt. As At least some me, of them are. I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. Mm. Well, we can try for this. I want details of the first operations, including who hired you. Did not keep you cool. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm a businessman. I want something in return. This is my I monkey. won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange. I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Uh, no. Neither did it. You didn't either? Yeah. No, we're not going to let them operate with a free hand. I mean, we can get the info and then kill them. Let's see if we can do that. We did the save before this. Let's see if he can point us in the right direction and then we'll kill him. Good. 
then we are agreed. An agreeable transaction. And bloodshed is avoided. She liked that? It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. How are you? Okay, we got the encrypted slate. Um... No, he did. <laughs> did they have anything of value? Is that dirty? What else has he got here? Never stood a chance. We got a credit stick. Are Wild. you prepared to die? Oh, that's exotic. Take that. No book. No, she's not upset about me killing him either. She did not have a problem with it. Of course, there's bulletproof glass between me and his men. <laughs> That's you very helpful. There's a lot. Ooh, Dracula. Nice. Alright. Oh, gotta get out of this mode. Ooh, okay. You know, I like to keep my cool and loot as I go. I also wish to be prepared for any situation. <laughs> there are practical limits, no? Am I overweight again? I probably am. This is a... Uh, uh, Tissues and lotion by the bed. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, oh, safe. Alright. He wasn't so formidable. Alright, some ammo. It's a bunch of credits. Nice. You're dead. You hear me? Oh, there's somebody left. That's the bathroom. And I keep forgetting where my seven. Should have took that to begin with, but Oh, gotta heal her. I 
go. Where is this other person? Oh, hi. You died today. All right. Tracks. Where is there more goodies? So we clean up in here, right? David Copperfield. Apparently there's a bookseller somewhere that gives you really good prices for books. My life, chunk by chunk. I'm not sure where that is. Bolstering UC War Dog spacesuit. Oh, we already did that. Mochi mini bite. <laughs> All right, we use that stuff. First officer outfit. Okay. Everybody? Yeah. Some plums. <laughs> right, I think we're good. Um, what was that spacesuit we just picked up? It's better against energy weapons, but worse against physical. The mass is a lot better. Why is the stupid mantis one so good? Let's make sure we loot all the things. Hmm, decorations. I gotta unload soon. So we already did this. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Lots of succulents. Oh. Sentient AI adapters. There we did. We almost missed the uh, contraband. Oh yeah. You gotta be careful to get rid of that first, though. Expensive Chardonnay. Exotic bottle. Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. We gotta make money. Do we loot all the other dudes? Boom, boom pop, orange. Got them. I didn't even see what I looted off of Marco. Nice sculpture. Put that in one of our outposts. They really liked their white wine, didn't they? Ah, 
How about a little red, huh? All right, I think. Oh, more sculpture. It's nice that even though you get overweight, they let you pick up as much as you want. Or sell these all at the Emporium or something. If I had just straight up killed him, would I have got the uh, cryptid slayed off his body anyway? Did I have to double cross him? The spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. Maybe I should have turned off the turrets. Oh, this is worth a lot. Advanced Deep Seeker Space Helmet. stuff here and that nice music still playing calmly in the background and my torn muscle is still getting better nice Yeah, this is quite the ship, for sure. Why do they even try? <laughs> See, sometimes she's awesome. Get in the cases? Apparently not. I want that. Well, money. Sitting around. That's all fake. No, it's under glass. This guy's a hoarder like me. Thank you. Oh, 
All right. All good. What does your scanner reveal? Getting my points for weightlifting. I'm just trying to see if this is a cool planet. Sandy Golden Glow. Alright, so we've got to bring that encrypted slate back. Alright, let's, uh... Unload into our cargo. And let's see. So the weapons, put the weapons in there. That one is thirty nine. And this one, the calibrated one I put in there is so much better. We're higher level now, so maybe we're picking up better weapons. Magshot 80. Oh, 231 is so much better though. Ooh, look at that thing. That's pretty good. We might have to equip that. Oh, wait, no. We wanted to uh, not equip it, but uh, favorite it. I can't do that in this menu. The contraband, yeah. I gotta do that. Thank you. Is that under miscellaneous? It is. Sentient AI adapters. Yeah, we should probably, uh, before we go to Aquila, let's go to the key. Get rid of that stuff. Oh, that's the quest item. Okay. Ear grub display. We need, this is what we need the, um, star ui for us to be able to sort through stuff better my plushy galactic cats i found them you know they had disappeared from the outpost uh when we moved the bed or whatever and i found them like out in the middle somewhere just floating in the air and so i got them and saved them bam 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 Bunch of alien genetic material. The blend. How many do we have left? We're down to three of them. 24 Chardonnays. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were gunners too, man. Spaghetti carbonara. I should be drinking some of this before persuasion and stuff. It's just they only last for three minutes. It's so hard to know when the time is. Amp for movement speed and two times jump high. There's so many ways I could be augmenting myself that I'm not. Of course, I did just get back, so of course I'm going to be a little out of it. Oh, that's plus 20% persuasion. That's so much better. A stolen med pack. 
resources. Let's just store all resources. Boop. And then what else? Can we put away spacesuits? Boop. Packs. Helmets. Peril. Interesting. That's looking cooler than the ranger thing. All right. Oh, intimidation chance. Dang. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's move up to first officer here. Is that wrong? <laughs> yeah. Of course, we could just wear the syndicate boss suit the whole time. All right, we good. Got all these books we can drop. Miscellaneous, we did that. I think we're good, right? We're down to 90... 98? Why can't we only hold 116 now? Is that because we're injured? Where's my status? Yeah, I think it's because of this. Oh, here is status. Torn muscle. Sprain. So we need thing with that. Okay, let's... Uh, handle that. Need to find the thing with that symbol on it. There we go. The mobilizer. All right, now our weight's back up to 150. Cool, cool, cool. And we had got another level too while we were doing that. We got one point, and I decided I want to make sure, sure to put it into starship design. So we can make even better ships. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to be with you. Okay. That was fun. I should have slept beforehand. I hope you are sufficiently rested. Who knows? Another thing I could be min-maxing. Okay, so the key and then Aquila City. It's a good looking planet. All thrust is fire. Yeah, there's no way there's that much space inside that ship. Maneuvering into position. We gotta go sell the contraband unless we drop it off. And now in Orbit. What am I doing? Right, the key is over here in Cricks. Nope. Alright, we'll just jump there. <laughs> grab, drive, normal propulsion. He loves it. There used to be a bug, apparently, where you could claim a space station as your own ship. 
Airlock integrity. You landed on the planet. Give me if I keep a knife at the ready while we are here. <laughs> I expect you to. Yeah, so for folks who don't know, this is the Crimson Pirate Space. Man, great place for getting rid of contraband. And there's as actually as good for selling price? anything. There's a ton of vendors here. I hope you do not have any loose cred sticks. I fully Plenty expect you would find them to missing from. when we leave. She always has the weird emerald I need. It was that one, and it was... Uh, I was like 40-something. I don't see it. Alright, uh, let's sell her stuff. So... Contra oh, we gotta sell from the ship, actually. So that contraband that was worth five figures is now worth four figures. That's <laughs> so bad. They should make it so that if you smuggle it onto a planet that scans for contraband, you get more. Right? Because otherwise there's no incentive to smuggle it in. Hey, we made it up to 104,000 credits, though, in this, in this episode. It's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's sell some junk. I don't know how I got all these coffee mugs. Fishbowl we want. We'll keep that. That's pretty cool, too. These are super heavy. Ear grub display? <laughs> I kind of like it. Uh, no. No. Hose clamp pliers? Left easy slip shoe. Left slipper. How do I get all this stuff? Those I kind of like. Oh, and that's cool. Plant we got to keep. Plushy Galactic Cat. No way am I selling that. Some of this stuff is just stuff that's on the ship that uh, sort of populates it over time and then whenever you change something on the ship it all goes into your inventory oh we're selling the sculptures yeah these are dumb sculptures that's fine yeah those are very interesting that one's kind of cool eh yeah. Toilet paper we gotta save. Mm, I like the other one better. Okay. And we had a bunch of weapons and stuff like that, too. Um, let's sort them by damage. Those we wanted to hold on to. Because they look pretty good. We need a sell junk button? Yeah, we do. We do. Back. All right. See you around. Need to have jazz. Yeah, and then you just go to the next guy. The right protective gear can make all the difference. Sure, I got something to suit your needs. And go stuff in the ship inventory. And we're sorting by damage. Go down to here. Some of these might be good. 
That's so little damage per thing. Now, we'll look at the rest of these later. Space suits. Space trucker, no. War, you see war dog, maybe. We'll hold on to that. That one can go. That one looks pretty good. That one not. Okay. Oh, and aid. Uh, is this where all our wine and stuff is? Uh, let's sort this by weight again. Ship parts we got to hold on to. That gives a little bit of carry capacity. That's experimental crafting and research. Oh, I'm never going to use all these, though. Nope. Oh, we're out of money. See ya. All right. Always ask for a bigger cut. Next. It's all about making those I credits. I don't need to hear about this. Better be worth it. Okay, uh, so from ship, we're down to aid, and we were sorting by weight. Am I, am I ever going to take that though? I don't know. It's a lot of damage resistance, though. But yeah, sell the stolen stuff for sure. Thank you for your patience, guys, as I go through this. getting there we're getting there Pretty good. I'm trying to save the ones that have good benefits beyond just five health or something. Some of them have the same benefits but better. All right, if we have that supernova, there's no reason we need any of that. Okay. Um, the resources we're going to hold on to for now. Oh, bye, I guess. Um, See anything you like? Don't even try to rip me off. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. She has good guns and stuff sometimes. A pistol. Wow. 
How much is it? 13? Uh, let's hold on. That's the best pistol I've seen. It's always the old earth ones. That looks pretty good too. For a melee weapon, that's the best I've seen as well. Um, but let's just look real quick in the ship inventory. Let's just look uh, all... Let's just make sure there's nothing stolen like that. No stolen, no contraband. Okay, and we gotta look at mine as well. Oh, that's stolen. Sell it. Sell it. All right, no more stolen stuff. Excellent. Um, and then for ammo, I don't think there's anything I need. Don't be a stranger. Okay. That's good for now. I could probably do a finer version of that, but that was pretty good. It would seem that none of the wealth stolen. Kinetics, electromags, energy weapons. All right, now we can go to Aquila. But that was a good reminder to deal with the contraband first. do some shipbuilding. I do know you get a ship at the end of this mission, which would probably be a good one to make the, the one we modify to be our, our pirating one. How do we feel about this outfit? Eh, not super crazy about it. If they really were sentient in here, they would be like, how dare you wear that uniform? Like the first officer from the war. Thank you. Let's see if they comment at all. Keep it moving. Diego Monroe, at your service. Everybody likes me now. Everybody likes Better me. Better this than being some dust wrangler. Everybody on loves me. Got another one for you. Helga says I spend too much time at my terminal. She's probably right. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? Mm. Feels good to be out there making a difference. That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Here you go, Hotshot. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. 
If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. Oh, come up. on, man. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Okay. Oh, we got some credits, too. Mission rewards. What are we up to now? We're up to 126,000 credits. That's not bad for starting with nothing. Beginning of this one. I do need to look at weapons and stuff and figure out um, modifiers and stuff. We've picked up a lot more weapons. So some of the ones I'm having might not be relevant anymore. All right, what's next? Maybe go another hour, and then we're going to call it quits. Okay, so... Surgical strike for visiting someone in the hospital. Tracking Maya Cruz, a technical genius and senior member of the first who recently had emergency surgery. Marshall Blake suggested I talk to Ranger Ben Armistead at the clinic, a sophisticated medical facility in the orbit of Deep Hollow. All right, let's go. We'll just go fast. Show on the map. Who? One of these days I'll get decent at using this map. Here, let's just jump there. Need to scan the plants anyway. Oh, yeah. I heard scanning these gas giants is great because they're completely surveyed and then you can sell it. But I actually haven't been selling things to Vladimir yet. We got to figure that out. Okay, so we want to go set course. We're already there. Oh, okay. We're already there. Where's the click? It's right there. Let's go. You are clear to dock at the clinic. The best medical facility in the settled systems. You gotta get within 500 meters to dock. go i don't know why it's always in black and white i guess you're supposed to be looking through the docking camera or something like that time to cycle the airlock and move i have never required treatment here and i hope that i never do ma'am i'm just the courier Pleasure i understand to see you. i'm not blaming you directly dr salvato how long have you been here about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. <laughs> I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. My goodness. Why, hello there. Uh, I'm just here to keep the peace. You need medical help, I'm the last person you want to talk to. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the Marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Good, then uh, you know I'm tracking down members of the First. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Is 
She has some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. <laughs> Ironic, right. given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way. He Daddy. seems like he's at the end of his career here. A little tired, a little pudgy. Just between you and me, I probably drinks a lot of whiskey sure at the end of every day. Need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Doctor Darvin. Yeah, he's bored. She's the one in charge around here, and she's also on the council of governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. <laughs> a little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else? I'll be in my office. He's a little sleepy. You need any. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. The docs will get you right as rain in no time. Interesting. The person I'm tracking is a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer. Oh. Crap. System. So uh, I doubt that's related. That's yeah, still. It's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Is she a former soldier or a ruthless mercenary? No, or just her name. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? A little bit. It was a medical emergency that required long-term care. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. Watch a step. That doesn't seem very specific. Apparently it narrows it down a little bit. Any guesses what's being worked on in the secure wing? This is your office? Okay. A little Getting cubicle in the middle of everything. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Maybe she wouldn't use that name. I like how they animate him actually looking through the database. Uh, talk to him now? If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yep. There must be someone who fits her description, at least yeah. partially. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Uh, if I can find a source of your computer issues, that might lead me to Maya. Let's try that. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. If it gives me as that option, might as well. All right, admin access. Please select a task. Uh, active processes, I guess. Query disruptor MK4.
Security risk high. It is recommended this process be disabled immediately. Uh, location mainframe applications installed by Rivera Catalina P. Patient VIP section. Installed by a patient. You think that would pop up right away? All right, so we got a couple things here. Gain entry to the VIP wing, gain entry to the VIP wing. There's such a mountain of work, I could really use a hand. But I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Oh, the safe. All right, I don't think this is the right way. Ugh, just one week without something. Yes. Like what do you want? It's a good bet you got the fugitive hiding in your VIP wing. I need access. Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? Uh, show the badge. Deputy Estrella Campa at your service. I really need help. You could be Solomon Cole himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Flexibility clearly is not one of his virtues. True enough. I'm a fellow medical professional? Because so, I have one point in the skill? Oh, uh, let's try that. Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. All right, that was easy. Let's go talk to her. She's up here. Cool spacesuit. Cool spacesuit. <laughs> Am I? I'm not wearing it. I have never required treatment here, and I hope that I never do. Whoa. Thank you. She rigged up a turret, huh? Ouch! I see. Oh, is she in the VIP dock? Search for clues. Modified terminal. Command override mode. Install disruptor, run disruptor. Disable program. Terminal access logs. She's getting this uh, CRV-2 ready for departure. Treatment continues, but issues persist. Prognosis is not optimistic. Patient seems unusually anxious since receiving a recent courier slate. Possibly some bad news from back home. So she accessed the mainframe, installed that thing, and then uh, she uh, got a ship ready for docking Do we not find enough clues? I 
feel like we need to go stop her. What this? Urgent, read immediately. Maya, the rangers are on to us. They're going to find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov should be ideal. <laughs> it's very smart of her to leave this here. Maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ships if you need a quick escape. I know you don't have much time. The operation's almost over. Thanks for helping see it through, and if I don't get the chance to tell you in person, I'm eternally grateful for your brave service and loyalty to the unit. It's been an honor. Okay, go to Sakharov. All right. Back to the ship. It feels like I've been waiting forever. If people would stop poking their noses into every unexplored biome in the galaxy, perhaps we'd it's have a, a grab little less work to do. I literally can't get here any faster. <laughs> She's still chewing him out. He used to not put me in there. Interesting. I used to get put in right here. What can I help you with? Okay. So we're going to go to Sakharov. Which is over here. We need to go to the excavation site. Oh, we have to undock first. Okay. Here we go. Got something for me. Eklund site CL25. So, a site on an asteroid. Seems pretty sketch with all these other asteroids all kind of floating around. Get him, Sarah. Oh, it's because this one's my docking, right? All right. We picked up some ammo for our gun, so we're good. doing in here Vasco hello heard your ship doc if you are who I think you are then you're here to bring me in I had to horn you I've had more than enough time to prepare for this so either you leave now or I'll be burying what's left of you 
crystals must be valuable to have warranted such an elaborate mining operation. Dilithium crystals. There's gonna be traps and stuff, you know that. Gets into it. I don't want to touch the broken switch. Seems like a bad idea. Incredible. Nothing like the cold. Stiffens the joints, lowers reaction times. No matter how complex, robot behavior is programmed, and therefore predictable. I find that reassuring. Pretty cool looking with all these crystals. Spending time in a geode in space was not on my to-do list today, but... Right, we got frag grenades equipped. Send it down. If I can. Yeah, this gun's getting outdated. Takes all these tip phrase, is it not? <laughs> oh, this one's good. Bounty Hunter Space Helmet. That one's better in everything but corrosive than the one I'm wearing. Let's see. What do we look like? Oh, we can't see ourselves. That's not bad looking. Now we just need an outfit to go with it. Okay.
That's cute. And it's not attacking me. Leave me alone, I leave you alone. That for selling later or personal use. <laughs> Alright, that's where that comes down. Oh, she's stuck. She'll figure that out, right? Ooh, that almost killed me. I shouldn't mess around. I'm trying to kill it with a mining laser. Feature pile. You hear my heartbeat and wonder why you're dying? <laughs> it's that empathetic tie between us, man. You feel for me. No, we can't go through here. Uh, she's down there. Where does this go? I think that's it. Bunch of these crystals.
Could have done a better job. a victory, I suppose. They know their messy glory. My friend will be. Is kind of valuable. Molecule extractor. We were running out of sealant earlier. Navigator spacesuit. Keep on going down, I guess. Up. I thought that was going to be the one. Um. Get one of these, though. Harvested organs, oh my god. Contraband. We have a bunch of stuff. Absolutely, Jay. Thanks for hanging out. It's fun hanging out with you. Rare item acquired. See you later. That's a big old wrench. That one's not accessible.
I heard you. Something nasty wants to jump out of this. I'm not sure I'm going the right direction. Yeah, this is kind of end of the line down here. We're very close. We're at the right elevation. Close to it. Where are we supposed to go? Maybe push the button? No. Oh, maybe push this button. <laughs> that might be good. Gotta give Andresia some junk. So she appears again. This can be an excellent way to conceal the presence of an illegal operation. I should know. Ah, it is a good day. What have you got for me? Three hundred fire rate. Dang. I have to check some of these out at some point. could do is just go resources and give her all resources. My friend will be. All right, good for the moment. Very good.
was trying to protect herself. She left an awful lot of guns around. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to go up there. Maybe? No, we've got to keep going, right? Take what you must. Leave the rest for the scavengers. There's an awful lot of robots. Mad. Somewhere up there, huh? I think that's her shooting. I don't know what she's shooting at. Take your best shot. Where is she? Save some for me. Oh, there you are.
Now would be a good time to reprioritize what we bring with us and what we leave behind. Or sell. Or, or throw away. How can I assist? Should I give to you? <laughs> if I can take <laughs> a that? few things, I will. Actually, yeah, we want to go the other way around. Is she full? Oh, she's full. Okay. Look we're, after yourself. We're just going to be overweight. All right, this is a dumb, dumb way to go up, but I don't want to miss anything. All the good loots. Like that. Robot got kind of messed up. It's all hold up in there. You seem pretty eager to die. Of course I ain't. What kind of fool would be eager to die? I'm just not stupid enough to deny what's inevitable. I wish I were. But how about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. She looks a lot like the sister of that ranger over in the Red Mile. It's not the same one, is it? Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Are we gonna let her live? Apparently she's gonna die anyway. Let's see what she's got. Bunch of resources. She can't be in very good shape after we shot her. She's just laying down, though. a pretty crummy place to hole up. That's it, huh? Alright, I 
think we got all the stuff. Unless I'm missing something. Got a little bathroom there. Alright, we're gonna let her be. Got the slate we needed. Profit is never necessarily the aim, but if there is something worth taking. Here's some more goodies. Frenzy modified auto rivet. I am more than willing to carry anything that has use or is of considerable value. Legendary heavy. Ooh. <laughs> Carry all the barbells out. Ping pong paddles. Need more R and R on the ship, right? This was quite a complex little complex they had here. Wish to lighten your load. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. One is less likely. This is how we get ahead. This is a master. Must be something good in here. Hmm. I mean, we could do that with the two singles. Well, there's three singles, actually. when one is weighed down with whatever all that is. Boom Pop Cola. Is that it? For a master? Oh, there's more stuff. Assassin's Calibrated Razor Bag. Apparently we came through here, but I missed this stuff. It 
так. I am such a hoarder. Hoarders are us. Alright, I think we can go now. Oh, what did I forget here? No, that's just some duct tape. Gotta get the duct tape. Man, so much detail here. Vasco, okay, this is where we came in. My goodness. Ooh wee. All right. What? Pretty sure we're overloaded. Yep. Let's dump some stuff on the ship. my inventory yeah and then I'm gonna go through guns between episodes um figure some of this stuff out I'll put them in here for now and then we'll figure out what we want to use I also want to look at the um, the mods that we can make now. Um, I'm feeling a little weird wearing this outfit. Let's put that away for now. <laughs> we need to equip that. Let's see how that goes. Navy fatigue's not. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's finish it up in our ranger stuff. Stay in, uh, stay in character. Okay. All right, that got us down pretty good. Oh, harvested organs, right. We got to get rid of this first. Crap. Okay. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up pretty quick here anyway. We've been going six hours. We'll leave it at that. I gotta work tomorrow. I'd love to keep playing. But I'll tell you what. Uh, let's... We'll finish this quest line out, I think, next time. And then we'll do Andresia's. Oh, no, let's undock. And let's just go back and let's do a little research real quick. Releasing ship from dock. So we're going to go back to our outpost. And also another thing I might do between streams if I get in here. Oh yeah, I'm not signing out quite yet, but very soon. Is I may go around scan planets and look for where our other outpost should go. I'd like to find a temperate planet with copper and other good stuff. Go back to Androphon 1. And before we go, let's just do a little research and then I'll be able to Perhaps um, not look at the sort of place on which one would settle down. Oh god, I don't have a spacesuit on. How did I do that? Ooh. 
whoopsie. Did I put away the helmet I was wearing? Is that what I did? That's what I did. Can I look at my ship inventory for here? Yeah. Got a super looter too, and later on, hate going through all this stuff. <laughs> I don't mind going through it, but... That's the one we liked. Oh. Yeah, I don't mind going through it, but I, I do feel a little weird going through it on stream. Because, you know, I feel like it takes so long. I'm going to go through the spacesuits, too, and find out uh, if there's one that matches this. We need the bounty hunter's suit, which is probably as good as this one. Then we can actually look a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm going to scan planets between streams. I'm going to look at the mods on the weapons and everything. I'm going to look at my gear, basically. But for now, let's get ready to do that. Bye. Uh, we can research stuff, right? So, equipment. We can do... We did helmet mods one. Now we can do helmet mods two. And I'm tracking something that I don't know what it is. Um, you know what? Oh, that's... I already put it in here. Uh, I was thinking that maybe I should prioritize, but we'll look at helmet. Because we're going to run out of stuff here. All right. Helen Mods 2 has been completed. Can't do Helen Mods 3, though, until we learn rank 2 of spacesuit design. Um, I do want to look at pack mods, um, but I also want to make sure we get weaponry done. So we need barrel mods. All right, Sir Garwin. Thank you for hanging out all this time. Have a good night. Cool. And you know what? We're going to XP for this. So we should sleep first. Make sure we got that XP bonus. All right. Uh... All these mods. So we can do grip and stock mods. Completed. Optics and laser mods. Completed. Oh, aluminum. That we have. Okay. And muzzle mods. Using the, up all those resources we've been saving up. This is where the looting comes in handy. Alright, so we've done all of the weapon ones we can do until we can get weapon engineering rank 2. And then uh, equipment... Okay, we got helmet mods, pack mods. We're gonna run out of stuff on one of these. So far, we're doing great. Nice. So we can change a basic pack into a, uh, a what should we call it? Like a, a whether they power or skip. We're going to be able to add a bunch of armor to our stuff. Uh, 
Complete. Nice. Okay, so that's all we can do for pack mods, helmets, spacesuits, weapons. Um, the big important one next would be outpost development, right? Because we upped our level, but we didn't... We actually have to research it to get the things, which is why I didn't see them. So we get better research, resource extractors, better manufacturers, more decoration. We get the horticulture and domestication, power generation, robots. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Let's do a horticulture. They really make you work for this. So now we can make greenhouses on planets with plants that we have thoroughly scanned that are able to be domesticated. Not every plant can be grown. We can't do... Oh, we can do horticulture too? Okay. Sudden development. Nice. That gives me... Free stuff. Nice. All right, completed. Decoration two has got to come next, right? Completed. Decoration three. Give it to me, baby. I don't know what the heck I'm tracking. So far, so good. I do not have luxury textile. And I'm out of adhesive. Where do I get luxury textile? <laughs> Can I make it? Uh -huh. All right, can't do that one yet. Is the stuff she's carrying show up in there too? I don't know, actually. That's a good point. That's a good point. Need to find Aaron. I keep whatever you give me. Yes. Next stream. That is the deal. We do you. You're funny. I take all resources. Cool. Yeah, and uh She needs a better weapon at this point too. Some other time then. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it, it probably doesn't. We're working on decoration three. If I can't click on it, it means I don't have it. So we have to get adhesive and luxury textiles. Where do you get luxury textiles? Not something I can make yet, is it? I have to research that. Like, I did not research it here, but research how do you make it. Um, okay, well I'll get that figured out. in progress I can't do anything else until that's done 
I have an advanced what I can do in pharmacology. So far I can make healing paste and uh, what is this amp or something? Performance enhancement. Food and drink. It's all done. So we actually managed to get it all done. Except that luxury textiles. Uh, we're not actually quite done. We wanted adaptive frames. We got down. We don't have any tungsten. We don't have enough lubricant. That's in progress. That's in progress. We got resource extraction. One done. We gotta do two. All right, got bonus mats on it. Nice. Eh, adhesive and luxury. Domestication one. I just need to seal it. Or the adhesive, excuse me, it didn't give it to me. Uh, that was that cobalt I was picking up. Sometimes when I put in what I have, Gives me other ones as bonuses. Yeah, see, they got some of it there. Awesome. So I should probably do the ones I have tons of first, like the ones I'm mining and stuff like that. So power generation, power generation two. We know we have a ton of beryllium, right? Not enough of that. Not enough of that. All right, we're stalled on that one. Robots. So we're going to need to do some shopping. Hey! That one we got. Sweet! Okay, well you guys see how it goes. I'll finish these out uh, between streams. Go buy some tungsten and lubricant and stuff like that. I'll make a list of what I need. And yeah, and we'll finish researching output development. Uh, we did get equipment and uh, weaponry. So I'm going to be able to do things like uh, mod my spacesuit and mod the weapons and all that. I'm not going to do that now. I'll do that between streams and I'll show you what I did because I'm going to spend some time just kind of tweaking with it figuring it out um and I'll, I'll look through all the new outpost stuff too and we'll figure that out next time um but yeah that's it for today y'all thank you very much for hanging out with me uh, while we play some starfield where's the light coming from
It's coming from over there. Can I get some light on my face. I'll sign out. There we go. All right. Well, thank you all for joining and keeping me company while we play some Starfield. Um, on Thursday, do you guys want me to do some more Starfield? Or do you want me to go back to some cyberpunk? What do you think? Uh, for the folks who made it to the end here, we'll let you have a little uh, poll for, for hanging out. Uh, oops. Wrong thing. All right, let me switch my keyboard over. Nope. Oh. There we go. Either is fine with you. Here we go. Thursday's stream. And then Saturday's gonna be Baldur's Gate 3. Starfield. Cyberpunk. We got lots to do in both. Lots to do in both. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up with you? Trying to sign up. Uh, so I'll leave that up for a second. All six of you got to vote. Let us see how your my interaction is different from, from yours. Yeah. Yeah, we got so much to do in both. Can't check both, can I? No, you got to pick one. You got to pick one. I mean, I'll be doing both. Starfield, I have some stuff I can do between streams. That stuff I described. Cyberpunk, I want to leave it. The main thing I want to keep doing there is leveling my character up. So I want to go finish all the NCPD uh, little missions and the gigs in that one area I have access to right now. And then we'll jump back into the uh, missions and stuff like that. Um, because I, uh, I want to get leveled up first before I go too far. Because it's just more fun to have put the build together a little bit. So... So far, all two of you have voted for Starfield. <laughs> so we can come back to that. Like I said, we got more to do, and I will be getting prepared. I'm down for either. I'm enjoying both, big time. Um, yeah, if anybody else is going to vote, do it now. And that will de determine what we do next time. But in the meantime, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. And making it to the end of this one. Oh, we got a cyberpunk. <laughs> if you want to make a tie, you better hurry up. There's a few more of you in here. But it's really great to be back. It's fun to be playing games again. And actually play which one you're in the mood for. That's a pretty good answer. I'm just curious what folks would be most down for. We've got momentum going in both now. And I'm really looking forward to uh, starting, uh, not starting, but restarting Baldur's Gate 3 again. All really great games. Some cool ones coming out this month, too. We got uh, City Skylines 2 coming out. Uh, Return to Moria is coming out. Um, yeah, there's a, a demo out for, uh, was it uh, Enshrouded, I think it's called? Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Too many games, not enough time. And I am not a full-time streamer. I got stuff to do. All right. Well, I guess we're going to call it there. You can still have a, a, a few seconds to get your final votes in. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you for making it to the end of this one, y'all. I really love hanging out with y'all. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Oh, yeah, you're into that glitch? City Skyline 2? Cool. You know, um, uh, Sim City it was actually the beginning of my gaming career. That and The Sims. <laughs> good old EA back when they were good. Um, at least for that stuff. Yeah, I loved it. So I'd, I'd be really psyched to do a city with you all if you were down. Uh, but, yeah, we might have to wait on that one a bit because that's another deep dive. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.